Hello, 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 and welcome to yet another Q&A Thursday here at the Rag Company podcast channel. To my mm. right, Levi Gates. What's going on? Hey, pretty good, pretty good, doing the thing. In the middle, Dane Hennon. To my left, Anthony Fisher. Hey, Dane, thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Ah, absolutely. A little <laughs> vocal squeak there. That was fun. That was nice. Something. Yeah, that was uh, cute. Keep them on their toes. Speaking of keeping them on their toes, housekeeping, what's going on this week? Oh, man. So... We are still coming off of the high of, SEMA sale. high of tier yeah, SEMA. We're all little. They're still and packing orders. They are, yeah. They packed over 400 orders yesterday. Nuts. And that will probably continue a like, while. Like out the door, 400 orders. Yeah, pretty, pretty crazy. <sighs> so anyway, things have been, again, we, we had this <laughs> massive high. Yeah. And now we're coming down to these low if lows. We, if we seem just, tired, we're we apologize. Keep, <laughs> no, we got to keep the energy level up. We yeah. got listeners that, that tuned in. So we got to bring them back down. Here. Absolutely. So um, anyway, this week, it's kind of been catching up on media stuff. It's been kind of organizing all of these smaller TRSEMA clips and kind of segmenting things out for the appropriate vendors and whatnot. Because uh, while a lot of people enjoy watching a six or a six hour stream, technically, um, some people don't want to have to sit through the six hours to find the spot that they want, right? They want to be able to snap. They want to watch 25 hours or 26 hours. Right. They want to snap right to the, to the, maybe the brands that they're most interested in. We totally get that. So that's why things are getting sliced up, uh, to be able to provide that to you guys. Uh, but on top of that, it's just kind of going through all the messages and answering all the questions because, um, I know over in customer service they are pretty slammed right now with all the questions coming out of TRSEMA. People are getting their new products. They have questions Mm -hmm. about how to use them. People may have just found out about us through TRSEMA and so they're wanting to dive into more and more detailing stuff so yeah that's a that's a whole other thing and uh yeah other than that though that's kind of what what's what's going on Dane um well you mentioned slicing up the segments and I just wanted to point out for anybody who's curious I've kept them unlisted so you won't see them pop up on our videos page but they do exist they're on the TRSEMA playlist yeah, if you go okay. to the Rag Company YouTube channel, not this one, this is our podcast channel, but on our main channel, if you go there and you go to the TRCMA playlist for tw- TRCMA 2023, it'll have in order all the days, but then after all the actual days that are like six hours long, if you continue to look further down the list, you will see each brand with custom thumbnails that I made mm. on that stuff. So you can find the brands you were most you interested go. in and check those out there. Otherwise, nice. I've made chapters on the stream, so you can also use that if you prefer. Cool. Yeah, just, absolutely. just so people know. Um, I'm trying to think. Okay, so here in about uh, about two weeks, actually, uh, actually it is two weeks exactly. Me and Dane mm-hmm. will be on our way. And Jimmy, we are leaving. And Jimmy, we're going to be going to Chicago Auto Pros yep. in the beautiful, windy city of Chicago, Illinois, where we will be there. Uh, Creator in, Summit for the Creator Summit. I mean, it's basically uh, Chicago Auto Pros version of highlighting brands and highlighting creators and influencers and things like that to do kind of in-person interviews to get to know both the brand and the creators a little bit more. Yeah. Um, and I think it's going to be awesome. It's the first ever one that they've ever done. And I know that we're really excited to show up. Uh, we're going to be linking up with a few different creators and kind of just doing some general education on maybe the clay scrubbers or the towels or uh, rinse washing and things like that. And uh, I think it'll be super helpful. And it's also really cool because we get to meet up with all of our friends and we get to see everybody again. Yeah. Uh, this time we'll actually be seeing some new faces that we haven't met in person before. Uh, and we'll also be seeing some very familiar faces that maybe we haven't seen for a few months. So for example, uh, Pan the Organizer will be mm-hmm. there, right? Yeah. yeah. We'll have some hot bead maker talk, right? Maybe we'll laugh a little bit. Maybe me and him will share ourselves a uh, a delicious. What's that steak he ordered in uh, in Vegas? Ah, the, uh, beef Wellington. The yes, beef, beef Wellington, Wellington, right? Me and him could share a beef Wellington, right? Who knows where mm-hmm. the night can yeah. go? So uh, it'll be a good time. But that's coming up here in the next two weeks. You'll kind of catch probably the uh, the live feed or kind of the updates on what's going on. Probably on Instagram. Uh, I don't think our video will be out until probably a couple weeks after. One thing you can do if you live in the general area, though, is Mm -hmm. they will have an open house day during that event. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure. I believe it's on the 29th, and uh, they'll have the details 
on uh, Car Supplies Warehouse's website mm -hmm. um, as far as like coming in. But I know we have several fans who wanted mm -hmm. to come say hi. Yeah. That would be the opportunity yeah. to do it. I know so Carson. Just uh, giving a heads up. I know we'll see Carson over there. there. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, the guy who uh, on Wash Wednesday, yeah, he bought Ken. that Subaru XT yep. and we'll meet up with him again. Yeah, he so, said he'd be uh, there. So it would be good to see him. Running yeah. a detailing guys. business now. Yeah. So Dude, very cool. That would be awesome. Now yeah. it'll be, uh, so they've got that. And then uh, next week we're going to be hopefully – uh, Maddie and I have been working on our events page, yeah. on the calendar of events page. And so uh, for the RAG company, and we should have that live next week, uh, pending approval from John and Jeff to make sure it looks uh, the way they want it, everything works. Um, but that is where you're going to be able to find out where we're going to be or events that are happening here at the RAG company, which mm -hmm. I know you guys have been asking about. How do we find out? How do we find out? How do we find out about that stuff? So um, be That's patient. How. <laughs> Goal is next week. I saw a final draft today, and I really liked it. I thought it looked really great. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're super excited to have that. We're going to have, uh, like for those wondering, next Saturday here in Boise, yeah. uh, we're having an open house here at the yeah. Rag Company, the 22nd, mm -hmm. with the Porsche Club, the Silver Sage yeah. Porsche Club here locally. Uh, they're coming to spend the morning with us. We're going to teach them how to wash their cars and do rinseless and waterless. Mm -hmm. Kind of give them the three differences between them. Yeah. Um, and then... Uh, Following that, uh, we have uh, that first week of May, the 3rd through the 6th, tickets are still available. You can go to Dr. Beasley's website, yeah. and you can sign up for FOD APC, which is Future of Detailing Advanced Paint Correction. Yes. Now, uh, that is a you know, hiring class. It's $1,400 is the cost of the class. Yeah. But... You are going to get some serious swag from all the different brands that are participating, which is uh, Rag Company, Dr. Beasley's, uh, Griot's, and uh, Lake Country Manufacturing. So a lot of cool stuff is going to be happening. It's really cool to have them under our roof. They're all coming here to host the host the event. And uh, so just go to their website. They've got all the information there. We will have it next week on our website as well, the links for all that stuff. And then right after that, Avery Dennison, Tint Class. Yeah. The week of the 10th through the 12th of May. Are you going to be yeah. taking that class? I'm, I'm taking okay. that class. Hey, Anthony, yeah. you've taken that class? I, I guess I am. I, We're going to learn how to tint some cars. Then yeah. I'm going to hire one of you to tint my flex. Um, okay. Well, oh, sorry. You don't like making money? There will be a price <laughs> for that. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course. Maybe Anthony and I can get into the uh, residential window tinting <clears throat> and we can come over to your house oh, and tint your I windows see. in your house. Replace the screens. I get it. Well, yeah. no, we'd do it on the inside so there wouldn't be any. The screens are on the outside. Well, that's house. my point. Is the screens would go away. Well, n no, because the, the screens are to keep the bugs out, Dave. No, no, no. These aren't those kinds of screens. They're UV screens. I see. Okay. And they're actually on the – anyway. 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 So, uh, yeah. <laughs> point we'll, is, we got a lot of great <laughs> stuff coming to the rag company. And uh, hopefully add another uh, thing to our uh, – uh, things, things that were – we're good because we can do some damage. What's the word? What's the thing I'm thinking of? Like we, we are, we're smart we're, enough we're, to. We are av no, we are less than average. What's the word that we use? Uh, you amateur. know enough we to be dangerous. dangerous. Yes, there you go. Yeah. We're we're but... we'll be amateur tint specialists. <laughs> yeah, you know which... enough to be dangerous. That's exactly that's, basically that's the word. That's I, what we're you know, for. you know I enough to trust get your myself feet wet. with my own car, so you shouldn't <laughs> trust me either, right? <laughs> but we'll see here we are. are. A here fair assessment now. To, to top out, if you guys are all done with housekeeping there, the last thing I was going to point out, um, and now I completely blanked on it. That's unfortunate. It was really important. I had it on the tip of my tongue, and now it's gone. Well, it while you think that about important. that, I'm going to talk about this morning. I Go went to the it. doctor. You did, you. <laughs> because uh, Sunday during Easter, yeah. we were all hanging out, having Running a great around. Easter. We were yeah. crazy. It's insane. My dad had sent a text, bring all your chairs. Yeah. Hmm. Lawn chairs. Mm -hmm. like your, And so we brought them all. We set them all out. Yeah. Two things I thought about over the last few days that I've been <clears> in <throat> severe pain. Okay. Yeah. Because I've been dealing with a bug bite. Oh. Mm. So. What kind of bug got you? Probably a black widow. Oh. Nice. That's, so, that's usually a pretty good one to get get, get bitten, bitten by. by. Yeah, not yeah. fun. So here in Idaho, we have uh, sack spiders, black widows, uh, yellow spiders. Wolf spiders. We have wolf spiders. Brown we have, are the nastiest. We don't have brown recluses. We have hobos. We have right, hobo we spiders. Hobos we also have stuff. jumping spiders. And we have jumping spiders. Those so, are harmless, though. Yeah, but those are the normal spiders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, basically, I got bit by a spider on my finger. 
while I was hunting eggs, and I thought I had got like pricked it on a bush or something, right? Sure. Yeah. So then Monday I was nauseous. Sunday I was stomach ache. The pain. venom was kicking in. Yeah. Yeah. Feels so good. it was a little bit of diarrhea, a little bit of stomach okay. issues, yeah. all that oh. kind of stuff. And I remember yeah. thinking, was it this brats that I ate that had been sitting out in the sun? Yeah, it could have been. Or was it the anti, you know, the venom that's in my system? Yeah. Could yeah. be both. Could still, be. still don't know. Yeah. Working uh, it out. But then Carly and I went out the next day, and I remember going like, "Man, my fingers like hot, yeah, like hot." And then the venom's working. Just, just yeah. the one though, right? Then Tuesday and Wednesday, my armpit hurt. Yeah. Oh, my lymph node. It's traveling right yeah. here. Mm-hmm. So I've got that venom now up here, and my lymph node's doing the work trying to take yeah. care of it. Uh-huh. And so I took uh, last night. I took some Tylenol because I was like, "This is weird. I can feel my heartbeat in my finger." Yeah. Like this is always supposed to This isn't supposed to happen. Yeah. So Carly said, uh, hey, tomorrow if it hurts, go to the doctor. And I was like, Yeah, <laughs> feeling pretty good. Fingers not too bad. Elbow, you know, armpits doing all right. Woke up this morning and I felt like I had like a piece of concrete. Yeah. In my armpit. It was the venom hardening up your, yeah. your arteries. And my yeah. finger was more swollen than anything I'd ever seen. So I went to the doc in the box. They got the biggest friggin' needle, shoved it into my <laughs> finger. Oh, yeah. no. Now, the cut is, like, right here at the edge of the nail. Yeah. Right? Oh, the no. bite is. And that oh, is... Got you on the nail, yeah. This chunk is all <laughs> swollen. Yeah. So it's on this finger. So she jams that in there to try and release some of that. Oof. Oh, yeah. She doesn't numb it up or anything. She squeezes it out. And she goes, oh, it's kind of just a blood blister under yeah. there. That's good. There's no infection. But don't worry. We're going to culture it anyway. And then here's a prescription for an antibiotic. you got to take four times a day, 500 micrograms each dose. And I said, oh, okay, that's going to be a lot. Hmm. So that's where I am now. Well, they haven't figured detailers, out, if you made it this far. They haven't figured out what kind of spider it is, though. No. Oh, dang. But I don't know if you guys want oh, to get a okay. camera in on there. You can kind oh. of see the bite itself. It just looks like you're flipping off the audience. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, if you look at Ooh, the, okay, the side that is, angle. That is, that is a side <laughs> angle. That's gnarly. This yeah. is a normal finger. Oh, my so, God. Yeah. It's, uh, needless to say, a little swollen <clears throat> there. So um, I did remember what I was going to say. Okay. Go for it, Dane. <laughs> okay. So anyway, that's what I've been dealing with. <laughs> just to save us from the more close-ups of the uh, finger. Dane went to the <laughs> chiropractor. So No, no, no. This is, this is real. So I actually made a post yesterday in yeah. the TRC Facebook group. Okay. This is what I was going to say. Was I was hunting around. Specifically, I, I was trying to be vague on purpose because I didn't want people to know what we were going to use it for necessarily. But I'll be a little more clear now saying it here because obviously you guys are uh, our friends. You're our fans. Mm-hmm. You're, yeah. you're great people and we love you. And uh, I was looking to recapture some moments we had previously had on the podcast, oh, the uh, detailing videos, Q&As, anything going now to years back. I mean, you can go right back to the beginning. Just memorable things, things that are like bite size. Specifically, I'm looking for sound bites, quotes, um, you know, stuff that people may be able to find in like a, a quick quip or a quote that maybe mm. we could isolate mm-hmm. the sound from, like the audio, and use for something. So I'm not really looking for the video, because some of the people were mentioning like visual gags and stuff, but I'm really more looking for funny things that you guys or maybe I have said over the years that uh, are memorable, such as, uh, hey, blue shoes, and you know things like that. Mm-hmm. Love that. Mm-hmm. So that was a, a Josh Petro, yeah. Uh, yeah. basically, yeah, contribution. So yeah. if you guys have anything like that, or, or like, gals. So you bought a truck? So you bought a sport track, and there's a toilet in it, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. If you remember things like that, and you know a timestamp, that's very helpful. If you could link not only to the video where it happens, but specifically like the, the video with the timestamp, because YouTube lets you do that. Throw it in the comments on that post. You'll find the post in the Facebook discussion group for the Rag Company, and uh, you know help help us out. There we go. We're, we're collecting things. It's been so, nice to see yeah. the folks adding their own yeah. things and and uh, putting stuff in there. I saw the other day. Yeah. It was pretty it great. It may or may not get used, but the contribution is helpful. And hey, if you've never been to the group before, now you know it exists. There you so, go. There's that. All right, now we can start throwing some comments on the screen. How about That's because that? it's Friday Eve, ladies yes, and gentlemen. Is. We got our drinks. Anthony's got a delicious liquid death. <laughs> I do. Convicted uh, melon. Yeah, convicted melon. Just just kind of <laughs> trying to you know. 
trying to just enjoy a little bit of carbonation, That's right? right? Yeah. I like the way it tastes. It's got good flavor to it. I almost picked up the tea, mm. and I said, wow. nah, I do want a little bit of carbonation. So this is uh, this is very refreshing, I will say. There you go. Nice. Not bad. It also matches my car. Who better to start off a Friday Eve commentary than Dan Pfeiffer, our good friend Dan Ah, from the Midwest, just, you know, enjoying things. 80-degree day, that's interesting. Good afternoon, and word up, from 80-degree Minnesota, USA. Wow. Detail season has arrived. Happy Friday Eve to your It hasn't, crew. Dan. It snowed this it's morning. It's so snowed you for us. Because it was 70 degrees just the other day, like literally a day and a half ago. And this morning, it snowed. And not a little, quite a bit, actually, but it all melted already. We can't escape this prison. So it just <laughs> keeps going. Then Dan follows up. Levi? Great job on TRCMA, guys. A great week of content. What are each of your single favorite products announced during TRCMA? Mm. Mine yeah. is either the XOV5 or new formula O&R. Mm. Um, so I really like O&R. I'm, I'm actually more excited about the future of Viper Chair mm-hmm. with some of those attachments. Yeah, that's, that's I nice really to like see. some of the to see some of those attachments because for so long there's so much discomfort in yeah. detailing, and those guys keep doing things to make it easier and easier and easier oh, for absolutely. us to do our jobs. And so that that's one thing that I really liked. Anthony, I don't think people realize it too with the the polisher little rack that they mm-hmm. have there attached to the chair. Think about how many times you're polishing a car and you set your polisher on the ground. Or I set it under mine and on the tray. And then you have to pick it back up and you're leaning over every single time. You don't Mm -hmm. have to lean over anymore. You're just leaning over your cable or some number of things. So I don't know. I mean, speaking of Viper, I'd probably say I'm a little biased, but I really like the idea of Viper energy. (laughs) 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 Yes, it's back there. He's looking for an Anthony close up certified. There we are. Wow. That's yep. me holding the first ever can of Viper Energy there right go. there. That whole segment was a riot. It was it was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. But I mean, honestly, I'm really pumped on the Optima maintenance line, on the new OptiCoat line. Yeah, uh, me with, too. You know, the yellow ONR, Hyper Seal in there, Power Clean, um, everything being kind of ready to go for a coated car. It, it gives us a really good basically solution to a lot of people who ask, what are my options? I can now say, I, I mean, I, I can now say all the, all the products, but it's very easy when I can go, hey, all right, Optimum, we have a line that's going to be able to do everything. PNS, we have a line that's going to be able to do everything. Coach Chemi, there's a line that's going to do everything. Yeah. G-Technic, there's a line. So it really kind of gives you that extra bit of flavor there, right? You know, I've already had my turkey and my ham, my kibalsa sausage, right? I had a, little bit, I had a little bit of steak, kibalsa. right? <laughs> Kibasa. Kibasa wood. Kibasa wood. <laughs> kibasa wood. Summer apple wood, um, summer kibasa sausage wood. Sausage or Delicious. whatever the heck it's called, right? Yeah. And then you go, I would really like a piece of like um, like salmon, right? I want like okay. I want like a piece of salmon. Like all these other options kibasa are amazing, right? But you have all these other options, but there's no like really good fish option that's, you know, healthy for you. Okay. And uh, that's where I think a hot pump comes in. Wow. With the healthy their, fish what a, with what their, a way with, to frame their this. salmon filet. Yeah, and you're okay. just like, I, I love that. That's amazing. Uh, so anyway, I'm excited about that. All right. I, I guess if, if I were to single out one particular thing, it'd be that line. Okay. Dane, what about you? I was actually really happy to see the new PNS products between Swift and Defender. Those were nice to see. But truthfully, one of the things that totally caught me off guard that I was excited to see, Buff and Shine with those pads where they have the border on them. Like centering a pad. I realized out of all of us, I'd probably polish the least. But a certified detailer. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But for somebody like me, the idea of centering a pad, you think you get it and then you actually start running it and you realize they're horribly imbalanced. That, That guard, that edge, it's just such a great idea. Like mm-hmm. that implementation was cool. Do you want so to know what the, the I was the excited sec- to you see know that. What the secret is to centering a pad? Well, you'd stick your finger. Stick, if you your, have finger a hole. The, stick yeah. your finger in the yeah. hole. You know, yeah. I've been doing it for years. You're like, I'm not yeah. proud, but uh, and I'll so do it. I stick my finger <laughs> yeah. in there, and what I do is I bring it up to that backing plate, and I wait till I can feel that sweet spot of that center of that screw, mm-hmm. yeah. and I go, "Yep," and press in, right? Sure. And then mm-hmm. hold it in and cup it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that exactly. that'll definitely make it easier. The pressure sometimes put a little pressure on that. End of the pen. Yep. Yeah. I but agree. in addition to simply having that that guard, I like the idea that yeah, if you're close to like a door handle, an exposed mm-hmm. kind of thing, yeah. it just gives you a little extra protection if you bump into it or something. Mm-hmm. If you're a little Absolutely, clumsy, like right? me, especially if you're running great. a kamikaze backing plate, um, may yeah. I billet aluminum? It would actually help uh, offset mm-hmm. some of the out danger a door handle. of your kamikaze yeah. mm-hmm. backing plate. Uh, just it's a little. It's fun. I live G. dangerous. Davis <laughs> oh, showing no. up early. Oh my god, I don't think he's been this early for years. <laughs> yeah, this he was an hour early. What says, are you doing, uh, G? 
TRC insider Clay Aikman is reporting <laughs> Dane's robot vacuum <laughs> oh, God. It's too has early for filed this. an HR complaint against TRC my host and seductive oh. suction expert Alex Dewar. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. I wish, speaking of Alex Dewar. Speaking of the man <laughs> with legend, we have uh, Alex says, Happy Thursday, everyone. Excited to see... Uh, the wash Wednesday, including Dane's flex to clean up the awkward date night fry sauce situation. Oh, good yeah. call. You know, Alex tried to treat you right. Yeah. Just, just trying. And you're, instead, you're, got fry sauce on you, the floor. You were, you were yeah. trying. It wasn't your fault, though. It was but that's that what happens when you eat in the car. Kids. <laughs> that's exactly what happens when you eat in the car. That's, what, that's all part you of the You know what, though? The flex was ready for it. I have my WeatherTech mats in there okay, ready to nice. go. Good. We got Sheldon here. Saying good afternoon, all my people with the double fist bump. Glad yeah, to have boom, you, boom. man. This is awesome. We have, <laughs> oh, we have Casper, our friendliest ghost, saying, what's going on, guys? Missed tuning in live, mm. but finally found a day I could. Excited. Nice. 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 Welcome, uh, Casper. Casper. Excited, excited to have excited you, to have you man. man. And then we have Humberto with his greetings as usual. Yes. Going through, saying hi to the crew, Humberto. We, we appreciate you doing thing. this because it really – creates that sense of community. You liven it up, buddy. But we, have, we, have, we have Joey Belinsky, yeah. a Jack Reacher-sized guy, Ooh. chiming in, that says, hey, guys, want to thank you all for passing my hat around like a yearbook <laughs> and having so many of those wonderful people sign it. You guys are the Aww. best. Joey, of course. absolutely. No problem. It was um, fun. We were all like, just, we were all super concerned of, do we sign the bottom of the bill or the top right. of the bill, right? Yeah. That was the big question. What's like, the etiquette? I took like, up the bottom of the entire bill. Well, so okay. that way, whenever he looks up, yeah. you know, if he's wearing Season. it straight up, he can just he's see He's got his guardian Levi right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Watching Always. over him. Always. Your guardian master of shine. Yep. All right. Sheldon. Awesome job for TRCMA. My orders are getting here tomorrow. Congrats, nice. man. man. Then Espen saying, hi, Fra Norga. First, I have to say thanks for the great show. Absolutely. Nice. Hi, hi, Espen. <laughs> and then the Harry Housewife saying, uh, Darren, even guys, loved all the love content from TR Seema. Looked amazing. You're welcome. Thank I think you, it meant live content, but we'll take it. Darren, yes, yeah, absolutely. Loved all the love content. All the love content. There was a lot good of love. love content. A lot of uh, love to go Tony around. Maisel keeping us uh, <laughs> energized throughout the week at TR Seema with a plethora of raw Pop-Tarts. You, wow. it, what was fun was to howdy, see howdy, you, howdy, howdy. Alex... And Brad, raw dog in those pop yeah. tarts in your cubicle. So raw pop- just the three so of you. And we, I thought that was a little awkward and strange. Mm. I didn't want to bother you guys. We were doing raw pop tart shooters, is what we oh, were doing. Okay. Oh. Right? Yeah. So well, you crush them up and put them in a shot glass? Yeah, most people think you can't shoot a raw pop tart. And I'm here to tell you, you can. Wow. Right? That Impressive. Basically, the second you snap that thing in half, right, you're able to swallow the full thing whole. I mean, That's it's pretty impressive. insane. Wow. Uh, you want to have a drink on you, though, just yeah. in case things well, you get You don't want things getting stuck. And but, uh, Tony, thank you. Those were delicious. <laughs> I still have another <laughs> box left, but I was passing them out to the team members. Mm-hmm. I was passing them out to people that were the vendors, and it was just the funniest conversation because <laughs> I would Pop-Tarts? just go up to somebody and I'd say, you want a raw Pop-Tart? And they go, what? <laughs> what? That's a weird question, Anthony. I go, and then like, Alex, I got the Alex from Viber Chair goes, does that mean something else? And I said, no, man, raw Pop-Tarts. I'm <laughs> passing it out. out of the bag. And, uh, just fresh out of the bag. And so everybody was really excited to munch on those. So uh, <laughs> uh, Gorilla so... Jeebus, <laughs> Levi. Hey, what's up, my dudes? TRC is getting better every year. It's a valuable addition to the industry. By the way, Will OptiCoat find its way to the TRC EU? Mm. Optimum has become rare in the EU. So, fun fact, Gorilla Jeebus, OptiCoat, the only other place you could get the OptiCoat maintenance line was in the rag company Europe. Yeah. They were the distributor for the last like five <laughs> years. Yeah. Yeah. At OCC. So there you, was a small loophole where they were able to distribute the product because they were also considered to be a shop. Um, I don't know if they're still – I think they, they're still they, distributing. Yeah, as far as I know, they're still yeah. distributing. The biggest thing is just uh, like everything, uh, it's just the cost of getting stuff over. So, yeah, uh, yep. yeah. reach out to Patrick and the gang and uh, – See what they can do. Yeah, they had it when we were there this last – this past – It's true. Last yeah. Time. Uh, past the time we were we there. We were very jealous it. even looking yeah. at yeah. yeah. so. <laughs> Sheldon says uh, the new OPT line – looks sick so fun fact right this line has actually been around for almost six years now but what's crazy is that 
they future-proofed that line. I mean, Dr. G did a very good job of future-proofing it, not with just the way it looks, but also the formulations of all the chemicals uh, within it. And uh, most people think it's like brand new and they just read that vis- revise their packaging. No, it's been around, but nobody knew about it. That's yeah. the point it was, I was going to say. It's all, it, it was it's, the biggest it's, secret it's in the, the detailing we've, industry. We've said this for years on the podcast. <clears throat> that it's one of the industry's best kept, kins, best kept hidden secrets because – the products in it are, are so freaking good, and um, just unfortunately, nobody was ever really able to experience it on a on a mass level, right? Like they can now with us now distributing it through both the rag company and on Amazon through the rag company as well. Uh, but yeah, it was mainly available through Very installers localized. themselves, right? And if you didn't have an installer in your area, there was no way to buy it in that kind of brick and mortar situation. And if you were to order it offline, you would have to order it through the OptiCoat website, which most people assumed they couldn't order through right. the OptiCoat website because they weren't an installer, right? right? And so they'd go, oh, that's it very a, quiet. Like, it was very quiet. Like you could get it if you really, really had your heart set on it. You could order it from the website. Um, but most people were like, kind of like, oh, I don't think I can't order that. I don't, I don't yeah. have, I'm not the installer, right? So nobody ever tried. Yeah. So meaning that nobody ever ordered the products. And I was like, man. They sold. People bought people them. Bought like, people them. still used them. The 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 installers, installers that had them installers sold yeah. them sold I, I know that installers sold a ton of product in that yeah. brick and mortar situation right. coming out of their shop and dr g said yeah it's a great mover in that situation but he goes I, I you know how come more people don't know about it and i go because it's been hidden it's, and i think it's we need to literally been kept <laughs> take the uh take the the the, yeah, the, the silk the off. silk sheet yeah. off of it and actually finally be able to get it out to more people so um, all the products are awesome in that line. The bottles look amazing. They almost look so good. You don't want to use them, but yeah. please, you need to use them so we can continue yeah, you need to, to buy more. Yeah, yeah. buy more the so we can sell it. The fact that so yeah. many people think it's new, though, tells you everything you need to know about that. So yeah. it really is. It's an experience. But originally, it was if you've been missing out. So originally, it was developed because uh, the EU was saying we would like a nicer version of the products. Yeah. You come up with a nicer look. We need it to be more high-end. It's end. how our sealable bags became yeah. a thing. The same reason the we built our, seal, our bags. So was it was derived from Europe. They were like, we need the higher-end packaging. So Dr. G developed this beautiful line with Patrick and the boys over there at Rag Company Europe. They developed this whole line. And then it launched, and we were super excited for it. And then like, we didn't get we, it. Then we found out we couldn't get and it. And then it was like, <laughs> no. oh, yeah, no, you don't. In the U.S., you don't get it because it's going to be for these folks. And um, we were like, what the heck? And then we waited so for good. years and so, asked every year. <laughs> but it's when Anthony and I did buy the products and use the products, that was literally going to – that was kind of our, our little holy grail, yeah. so to speak, moment for us was to be like, man, someday if we get these yeah. – products and be able to sell them it could be nice so yeah. welcome you're now living in camelot yeah here we go all right espen saying can't wait to try the pns smell spray <laughs> and the new mm-hmm. onr absolutely yes. Yes. Be a good time right there and then uh glenn oh yeah glenn glenn saying afternoon all and then sheldon what's up glenn and then sheldon saying definitely want to try gloss coat what size would you recommend for a 17 Tacoma? <clears throat> and how many coats do you recommend? You only need to use one. Mm-hmm. Uh, the new formulation of gloss coat is getting close to three years of durability now, is Dang. what Dr. G said, especially when you pair yeah. it with Hyper Seal um, from the Opti line. So yeah, wow. pretty insane stuff, uh, but also one of the easiest coatings to install in the yeah, world. It's always been pretty Honestly, yeah, gloss coat, it's a very yeah. easy coating to apply. and realistically yeah, you only need one uh i think it's uh actually it's like a 15 mil no, or 30 mil syringe tw- you can go 10 cc or 20 cc yeah 10 cc's will do it i think 10 cc he'll barely he'll he might you'll, make you'll it like you'll get tight. tacoma's a smaller truck but you don't so. have to use a lot yeah just remember uh fred <laughs> says hi everyone hey, and then, uh we're pulling up glenn here that says have my TRCMA order waiting for me when I get home. Yeah. I'm sure I'll get the eye roll from the wife, LOL. <laughs> you okay, may. Bud. You may. Did you yeah. get her a shirt too, Glenn? True. Did you get her a shirt? Did you get her any products? Yeah. That's how you usually like, you know, balance yeah. that Share out and say, yeah. I got this stuff for me. Yeah. But I got this but for I got you. I this for you. Perhaps you some go. spa towels, you know, things like that. Raphael, Levi. 
What's happening, everyone? Happy Friday Eve. Thanks <clears throat> to everyone at TRC for another amazing TRCMA. You all did an amazing job. Thank Shout you. Shout out to the crew behind the wall Thank and everybody in the yeah, office Yeah, we couldn't here. do it without everybody that was there. That's right. So, uh, Dino saying, let's go, boys. Hey. What's up, man? Follow And then by. saying, in Austria, we had a whole last week, sunny, 17, 18 degrees Celsius. Dang, that's like pretty much 80s. Today it was snowing. Today it was snowing. <laughs> same as Boise. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much same as Boise. Yeah. Uh, Bearded Hunter saying, howdy, boys. Hope you're all having a great Thursday. Thank we you. Are. We are. And then uh, Joe, oh, uh, first from Puerto Rico saying, I watched it while working at the office. Ah. Thank you, Umberto. We, we appreciate, appreciate your uh, chiming in there. And then Jojo Crawdaddy saying, yo, my brother's from different mothers. Hey, what's, what's going on, Jojo? <laughs> then Alex saying, shout out to Just Josh for being a workhorse. And, y- you know, the rest of the team. Of yeah, course. Yeah. Just Josh. It's so just funny. Josh. What's his name? Just Josh. Just Josh. Josh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Casper saying, speaking of Chicago, do you guys need a ride from the airport? I'd be more than happy to pick up the boys in style. Oh, man. Ooh. This is the second offer we've got. Well, you guys are going to have to take that take that on. I mean, yeah. it all depends because I know uh, the way they had it set up, they were like car? really tight. No, they told us no rental cars. They set it up so that they'd be ferrying everybody around. Oh, nice. Yeah. But if we get some free time, I'm not opposed. It just, they seem to have this Ooh. whole thing very tightly coordinated. So here's the deal. I'm down to do pretty much anything, yeah. right? I, uh, I've never been to Chicago before, right? I'd like to stay on the safer side of the railroad tracks, if you know what I'm oh, saying, sure. right? Just because I, I, I'm not as I got ri- friends in Chicago that grew up on the other side of the tracks. I'm not as risky anymore, right? And, uh, I, you know, I want to play it safe. I want to have a good time. It's risk averse. Uh, however, right, I got to figure out a way. My wife was, she's like, when I told her I was going to Chicago, she goes, did you know that the McDonald's headquarters is there? And I'm like, <laughs> it is? And she, I think that's what have she said. Have you never watched The Founder? Uh, I, I, don't, she's I an, think she's I did. She's a McDonald's enthusiast. She's a McDo- yeah. She is a McDonald's enthusiast. She does love chicken nuggets, Big Macs, <laughs> and um, and the fries, obviously. Yeah, and if, you so, had, if you had the option, like if McDonald's started freezing food, yeah, don't that could be reheated. No, no, that could freezer. be reheated by an air and fryer. They, they could. They could. I mean, literally, the but, food doesn't go bad. I was just saying, let's just think about. It. Let's just think about. Yeah. It. <laughs> if she got a, if she got a, if she got access, yeah, to the fries, to the chicken nuggets, yeah, to the Big Mac patties, It'd probably save me a lot more money buying in bulk potentially. She, you'd come home one day. Yeah. And she'd be like, I got a line on this stuff. All you got to do is put it in the air fryer. Yeah. It'd be it, you'd have it, McDonald's. It at would home. be a very scary situation, but she loves McDonald's and she likes the. She just likes she, she likes the. I don't know. It, it's her. It's her feel good food, right? Yeah, it makes just her makes happy. her like. Hey, this is just easy. It's always the same and it's consistent. I like that, you know, because of it. Uh, but apparently, at this headquarters, you can order McDonald's from like around the world. Uh huh. So like you get the options like the okay, you can have like the Japanese. So you know, it's not too late. You can use your and, miles and get a. Extra ticket plane for, ticket for her for Katie and she can go there. I was just thinking I need stuff. to I don't I don't even really want to go in and order food. I just like want to see if they have like a t shirt or something. <laughs> I can also order, I guess, one online or something like <laughs> yeah. that. Get her a McDonald's like enthusiast, you know, T shirt, you know. I went to the headquarters in <laughs> yeah. Chicago. I was there. there so, Casper, to answer your question, I think they set us up with a ride from the airport. However, I hope we get to see you on the meet and greet day. Yeah. So if you're around there, please don't make yourself a stranger. Yeah. Come say hi. Yeah. Jamie the Cleaner says, uh, patiently awaiting for my invite to the Grand Bastard <laughs> Battle Royale. Hmm. Their hashtag, there will be blood. So in case you missed it, short and sweet here, um, this year has been kind of crazy with restructuring of the Grand Bastard program. Um, Technically, we were supposed to launch this new program going forward here at the beginning of May, uh, but due to our website essentially being rebuilt from the ground up, or at mm-hmm. least a lot of the uh, a lot of pieces getting a, built, a lot of the pieces kind of getting built back up and and whatnot on the back end of things, we don't have the the ideas that we had won't work right now because of the capacity of how many employees that we have currently working on that. And so um, what we're going to be having to do is still work on it, but not as fast as we were hoping to. And instead of pulling out and rolling out the new Grand Ambassador program with having new Grand Ambassadors for 2023, this is the year. This actually makes the most sense to do this to host the Grand Ambassador Royale in case mm-hmm. you missed this in, in the, in the Q and a, or in the, in the, Tier Sema. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be taking the runner-ups from all four years of the Grand Ambassador program, sending them out individual invites, 
uh, to come back in battle for the crown, right? Now, are all of them going to participate? So not all of them. So they are going to have to apply. They're going to have to tell us why they think they should be. They will get an invite. In in the royale. And then they will have to apply. Yeah, they're going to apply. And then from there, I believe we're going to uh, um, basically compress it down to about six Grand Bastards in the running for that second round at the uh, the prize there. And so uh, basically, yeah, they're going to – it's a lot of the same expectations, but obviously it's been raised because these are these are the elite, right, of mm-hmm. all the Grand Bastards. They know how the program works. They know how to create good content. They know how to really push themselves to spread the word of premium microfiber. But there's obviously got to just be one winner. But there's going to be the a thing. new benefit to the Grand Bastard of the Year there program will, there that will, we will – announce when yeah. it's fully built but yeah. there's Exciting, a reason though. that yeah. we're going with these yeah uh, and runner-ups I, I first think, i think it's gonna be awesome man and honestly um, because they know what they're doing, I just think it's gonna be hilarious gonna be because exciting. I'm gonna throw six of these people into a group chat and there will be blood. <laughs> and, you know, it'll, it'll be it'll be funny. It'll be fun just to kind of see everybody well, battle it Jamie out. Jamie was actually shopping for knives while he was here. He was. And he was like he was asking me he's like so what could what could you make? Potentially on your forge. Is there anything that like maybe Augie knows or yeah. styles of weapons that would be, that'd be better for the that would be right. better? He goes because I'm I, I need to cut some things. He's ready to stab yeah. some couches. Yeah, he was ready. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> so that's something to look forward to. And um, and and just to be clear here, uh, there is no runner ups. Mm-hmm. After this, right? So you know how we normally have runner up. There is no runner up for the runner ups, right? Yep. It's the one winner one, take all. one person to rule all. Yeah. And uh, I'm excited to see. Have you uh, what people figured do. out what they win? What who the new no the, 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 the no. ultimate winner of the battle royale the ultimate winner. I mean, chances are, are they coming to Tierra Absolutely. Oh, that's that's right. Definite. That's that's a given. Um, but we'll figure out a way to really bump up the prize this year for okay. this battle royale because um, honestly. Why? Why, why not? not? Why yep. it's the battle royale? Why wouldn't we? So we'll figure out something really cool, cool to do, right? You may have, you may win a camping trip with Jason Rose. You oh, right? wow. might. You may win. You may win a forging exercise or, with or Levi Gates. Who's not to say you might win an auto wash franchise? Right. Who, who I'm not saying that. You I'm know, actually making a joke I was just about saying that. <laughs> That's a very yeah. just trying to pull very generous. From the I, I can guarantee you that you'll at least get to sit in Dane's yeah. massage chair. Yeah. Right? I mean, you'll, you'll, get, <laughs> you'll get you'll get twenty minutes in Dane's massage chair. You can and also, uh, you a might your own. You might win <laughs> his <laughs> massage <laughs> chair. You might win right? Dane's massage chair or Jeff's. Yeah. Well, it'll it'll be awesome. But yeah, I'm excited. David Boyce says you're going to. Romeoville. Romeoville, Illinois. Well, isn't is it, is it, how close is Romeoville to so Chicago? So it's like a suburb of Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have fun. It's, it's all kind You'll of enjoy I'm it. flying into it's Chicago. A, yeah. I'm leaving Chicago. That's right. right. That's, that's how so it works. You're going through O'Hare. That's as Chicago as you got. So, yeah. Uh, we got Espen here again. Hey, there you go. Want to invest in a steam machine? How often do you use steam? Is it worth it for the expensive price? All right, tag? Espen. So here's the deal, man. Steam's nice. Once you start using Steam, you don't go back. So uh, our friends at McCullough. <laughs> they don't know who we are. <laughs> don't say it like that. They, they don't, don't know who we are. crap about But I'm going to tell you there. that the McCullough 1275. Didn't you try talk, try to reach out to them just to did. say, like, They hey, never even returned an email. Never and he got high-hatted. Oh, yeah. He got high-hatted. They don't fully. They don't care about so, us. So, But they did give me a new machine when my other machine broke. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, like they wor- were for any Warranty <laughs> repair, yeah. <laughs> I made sure I told them who I was. Okay. I'm sure that made the difference. Do you know who I am? Levi Gates. Master of shine. Yeah. Detail of you know, 25 years and right a now. Boise resident for 753 right. oh, years. No. So I will say that the McCullough is a great steamer, 1275. If you can grab that, as Penn, if, it, if they have them available in Norway, we got ours. Anthony and I got ours from Amazon. Yeah. Mm. So uh, the McCullough, 1275. Uh, the other one we're using that is a little more world-renowned is the pod steamer. Yeah. Oh. And the pod steamer has a lot of great attachments and works just as well. Yeah, I don't think it has the max amount of output. Like pressure-wise. Compa- pressure-wise in comparison to the cola, but the attachments are better on that. I really like the, sque- the spongy yeah. squeegee. What's there, the it's, cost of one of those? Because I didn't think it was that much for, for like an introductory steamer. The, anywhere from 150 to $1,500. Yeah. Okay, well, 1500 is like crazy. McCulloch I thought they were like 150 bucks. was what? So. The McCullough is 125 on Amazon. That's why I was thinking But if that, Espen's yeah. getting into Norway, he might be double that. <laughs> he might be dealing with something yeah. a little So that's all I'm here. saying. Okay. Yeah. And the pod steamers, I think... It's reasonable. It's under 500, I think. Yeah. 
I, I mean, if you're so. doing it for a business and you can make that case for yourself, that's one thing. But if you're an individual just working on a handful of cars every once in a while, the the hundred twenty five dollars special is kind of yeah. There's a video coming out here shortly. Oh, of a, a dude using that. That's pretty cool. A dude using a steam cleaner. Hey, uh, it's like it's not like a filthy Miata. Huh. Um, it's huh. pretty it's supposed to be pretty good. I huh. mean, based on what I've seen, what's yeah, his it's name? Cool. So far, I don't know, man. I just you have to look it up yeah, on YouTube. Sometimes it just adds it. Like if you've seen videos of like people who detail cars, or maybe yeah. they work on like Hondas or like yeah, they so ride kind of, Groms that, or kind of, stuff like that. Oh, okay. It'll automatically like super tell specific. You, hey, this okay. guy's got a new video. Sometimes, yeah, gotcha. So, All day, uh, Hans Closen says Abend. No, ah. Tal Trio. Tal Trio. <laughs> Abend. 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 Oh God, Abend what Hans. Are we on? <laughs> uh, and then Let's David see. Boyce saying Hold on. that was uh, yeah, that was there we right, go. Joey. Uh, yes, so, wait, that's right. Uh, right so, yeah. Alex Alex. saying Rick from the Rad Garage will be in Chicago. Hey. I informed him of Anthony's infamous spontaneous massages, so he's looking forward to one of those. <laughs> oh, boy, look out. <laughs> I don't know if that's serious or not, <laughs> but I know it's going to be pretty awkward when Rick takes his shirt off and he goes, mm. He's going to look right, at you with an expecting. He's like, I'm ready. <laughs> Lather me up. Yeah. And I'm going to be like, Rick, man, I... Uh, <laughs> We just we you know we just met in person for the first time. You got to warm me up a little bit. <laughs> buy, me a, be buy me a drink or something first, You're right? Like, I didn't yeah. bring any oil, and he goes, "That's okay. I brought mine." Yeah, <laughs> brought mine. A giant oh, Joey <laughs> says that Rick is the biggest celebrity attending this event. Oh yeah, <laughs> and uh, oh oh, it's a bunch of people saying, saying hey, hi. Umberto, oh, everybody yeah. saying hey. hi. There and then David go. says, "My five, my two five packs of TL TRC Metals arrived. Nice. They're fantastic, and so is that color shifting sticker. Mm-hmm. Isn't that mm-hmm. sweet, That's man? Nice, David. I think, yeah. sticker rocks. I think that sticker is awesome. Yes. it's one of my favorites. Kirby saying that it's a uh, hello and a great afternoon in Houston, near eighty degrees and sunny. Ooh, nice. It's a bone Very warming nice weather. weather. Very nice. All right, we're on to page five here. Here we go. Joey Belinsky with that hot tin talk. Yes." Mm. Bam. And then uh, my guy Kirby saying, how many attending the tin class? Uh, I think that I have no idea. <laughs> I think, I think, <laughs> I think that, that I'm not going to no, make up I, I looked I it know. up today. I have no idea. Uh, there are still spots available. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you go to Avery Dennison's, uh, if you just type in Avery Dennison tint training, yeah. uh, it'll pull up. A, it'll head you towards the link. You can go on Avery Dennison's website. Class is like six ninety five. Okay. For the class, six hundred ninety five dollars. I mean, here's the thing: you get I mean, a roll of tint. You, you can, can make that all the tools. Like two jobs. You know, you, know, you know what I mean? Things you can tint with a whole roll of tint quite a bit. I still have two right? rolls of tint in my house. Yeah. I don't. It's just tint. Okay. So I, I guess let me just say this tint isn't sexy to me, mm. right? I think on a vehicle, it looks very nice, right? Yeah, but the application but the is The application process. isn't sexy. And I think this is just because I, didn't know it needed to be. I have been in a vehicle yeah, right? with an older man. Where's this and going? it got steamy, right? So basically what ended up happening was we were in my Honda Civic, mm-hmm. right? The back seat. Me and this guy together. Why were you right? back there? Because we were moving my old tent, right? Oh, okay. And we were using steam. And honestly, you get two guys in there that are smelly in a hot car, right? And you're trying to remove tent. So that's what tint. you think about now when you put that's tint all, it's, it's, it's actually all I think about oh. when I it, it generally from day to day hmm. um, is – my steam session in the back of my <laughs> Honda Civic you you got a session hire. with my friend Steve, right? He's yeah. not an older man. He's just, he's like 10 years older than me, <laughs> but me I'm and my, years older than me you. and my friend Steve in the yeah. back of my Civic grunting while we're trying to remove like my old window tint. And it's just peeling off in like small yeah, strips. Yeah. And then it was me and him, right? We kicked the seats back all the way. So both of us are laying on our backs doing the uh, sunroof, right? Mm-hmm. Removing the old tint from that with razor blades and steam, and it's my—it was my nightmare, right? I said, no. Steve, this is the worst thing, but you are such a good friend that you decided to stick this out with me and help me remove this tint <laughs> yeah. before we put the new stuff on. And he what said, and he looked at me and he said, "Never again will I do this with you." Yeah. And I noted. said, he said, "It's one thing to have me in the car, but for both of us to be in here breathing heavy, it got really, <laughs> it got is, really wet and really much. gross." Man. I imagine his dogs tried to follow him in there too. No, he has so his huge dogs. So his so his dogs, which they're not Great Danes, but they are uh, what are they call they um, are some kind of massive like they're staff mastiffs. terrier they're, they're kind they're of really mastiff. Mastiff they're mass, they're massive thing. They're Yeah, whatever the heck you call mastiff. Yeah, mastiffs. And they were their heads were in in the in the front 
seat of my car, breathing heavily, <laughs> yeah. watching us, yeah. right? And I'm like, guys, <laughs> there's so much steam inside this car. We were just so... It that's was what this needs. More hilarious. moisture. So, all right. Anyway, that's all I think of when I think of, of tint is that it's, it's not sexy to remove old tint, but yeah. I think applying new tint is something to an untinted car oh, yeah. would probably be pretty nice. Yeah, I could see that. Right? What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm Anyways. excited to do it. I'm ex- The only thing I'm not excited about, I have 21-year-old tint in the Suburban. It's coming off itself, though. It is, but it's got glue underneath it that's very hard to get off. <clears throat> yeah. So I got to do some stuff. We got a lot no of scraping. In. Got a lot of scraping to do. I'm also thinking about bringing Carly's car in. That actually for the class good for the class yeah. and get nice. get that old tint off because that might be easier to move, but then also get that car tinted as well. The Supra's still here and it's got tint in the back. Uh, that's that a really so that could be that it could be the hard no, mode. That is the same situation. Well, actually, that's a tr- that's a lift back though, so you can yeah. actually lift that up. You could actually access it. Yeah, a coupe would be the worst though. Yes. right. But we so, could have that car in there big too. Big parcel shelf in the back. That so you can't access back to Kirby's yeah, question about right. the number of people in the class. There's probably going to be anywhere from. 10 to 15 yeah. tops, maybe 20. Yeah. Okay. Most Avery Dennison classes are usually open to about 20 to 25 students. Okay. The, the PPF class was about 15. The tint class, I don't know what Harold is because it's going to be Harold and uh, um, who else off the top of my head? I can't remember his name, but he'll be here and another yeah. trainer. And so um, I'm excited to see how it works out. Intense, a popular, um, you know, feature. Yeah, and it's a cheap, it's the most inexpensive class on there, uh, the Avery Dennison right. bunch. True, yeah. So, so try it out. Give, it, right. give it a shot. And then uh, uh, Larry saying, Larry. hola, sorry I'm late. In. No worries, you're here now. Thank you. And then Alex says, uh, Dane's going to put mirror tint on his south-facing <laughs> windows for curb appeal. Oh, no. That'd be <laughs> yeah. great. Uh, the mirror tent is no, yeah. no, no. Bueno. And then uh, <laughs> David Boyce says ticks also Levi, mm. uh, meaning those things oh. can bite also. Yeah, I was, yeah. So when I was looking it up, it was differences between like a tick or a or a spider saying, and what you, the bites you would are. see like the head still embedded or something awful. Something like, like that. that. Good thing you don't have Lyme disease. Phew. I didn't have that. I don't think. All right. Uh, Harry housewife Darren. Sounds exciting. Looking forward to seeing you guys at Wax Talk almost as much as laying my hands on that coca Ooh, lime mm. absolute en- essence. Nice. That has got me excited. It actually does smell Thanks, Darren. very, very good. Um, I mean, it's like having an absolute party in your car. Mm-hmm. I mean, nice. it'll be great. Uh, Simon Birch in the house oh, saying oh, that the Birch has landed. Has landed. Wow. He is here for the party. Joey Belinsky says, you guys single-handedly made me rethink ever visiting Boise. Because <laughs> I got bit by a spider <laughs> in my oh, uncle's man. backyard? You just yeah. na- or you the weather. off all of the different critters. Oh, that all the spiders the that are available so in the area. Like, yeah. No, absolutely not. not I, I, this is like only the probably the fourth time I've been bitten in 800 years. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say, haven't really had too many experiences with creepy But I've had in probably two, here. this and another instance, where they are extremely painful. Honestly... From a climate perspective, I think you're more likely to get bit in living in California than you are I probably think so living too. here. And I'm just saying this because I remember in the valley living in California, as a kid I saw countless black widows. Like more than I've ever yeah. seen like more than I would have ever thought I would have saw. Yeah. And then moving up here, I think I've seen a couple, but like there it was just a normal occurrence, right? Oh, you're yeah. cleaning out a shed. Oh, there's black widows, right? Oh, you're going into your crawl space. There's black widows. There yeah. are black widows everywhere. But Most of the spiders you see here are like wolf spiders, though. A lot of them are wolves, more, and they're nice. I well, like the wolf spiders. And I like to think that, you know, things like such as the Meridian Marmot is out there doing yeah. the Lord's work, right, mm. and eating these spiders. Hopefully. Sure. Yeah. Hopefully. I was going to say the environment I'm in, I should be getting the most critters out of all of us. And yeah, I've been you very have the fortunate hunter. where it's not. So yeah, there's a, tarantulas have, on that terrace. But I know you have, that is. You no, have, my house has been bug free. Knock on wood. The only thing I had to worry about what, were earwigs in the first little while yeah. on the bottom floor. But you have the Callie best. Kept digging in the plant bed right yeah. next to the house. And there but you have the best there. hunter on the planet. Yes. Hemingway Russian Blue. Sassy is a wonderful. The problem is she brings in mice. Well, that's fun for she, you. She brings them in, and then poor well, Liz that's has a to gift. catch them. That's a gift. That's... The last one she brought in was like this big. Yeah, that's her telling you that she loves you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she was very, very. Do you very not thoughtful. love the, the somewhat living mice? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're they're all alive, and then we take them back outside and free them. I think it's just the same one, super traumatized. Now. What you should have is you need <laughs> like the same a, poor guy like a, just a, over a and mouse over. cannon, right? Yeah. So we're just <laughs> <laughs> shoots them out. <laughs> Freeze them. Okay. Uh, we have Neil White. This is Levi. Is Spider Man? That is correct. He is a Spider Man. His powers. And uh, Jason M says, uh, 
What does he say? Afternoon. Oh my gosh. Small text. Afternoon, boys. <laughs> I have nano skin. I have a nano skin auto scrub fine. How many times do you think it can be used eff- eff- effectively? Uh, website says 80, 50 to 80 times, but I can't believe it. Feels like it's not the same, and I've used it 10 times. So I would clean it. Mm. I would spray a little APC on it, scrub it with your hand, and wash it off, uh, and then see. Honestly, it's probably just getting low. The rag company Ultra Clay Towel. Yeah, or pick up the Ultra Clay Towel, which is. And then uh, truly get 50 to 80 times out of that bad boy because. We know because it's been tested that way so many times at this point. It'll do 100 cars. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think it will. Uh, Han says, Levi can climb walls now. I wish. Uh, and then Alex says, hot finger talk. Yeah. And uh, Alex says, Levi twerking from a spider bite. Heck yeah. <laughs> wasn't twerking. What? <laughs> what? And then Franco, Levi is the new Spider-Man. Instead of web shooters, he has foam cannons. Oh, okay. That mm-hmm. that, that sounds gross. <laughs> <laughs> then Hans. Very visual for Hans, me. Hans. Way too much. See that coming Oh, out. God. Why did I put that on the screen? Hans. I just, Hans, no. Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh. And then Espen, what would you choose between a Ford Raptor and a Toyota 4Runner? <laughs> what a, what a whiplash. Thanks, for the comment, Espen. The comment. I really appreciate oh. that. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so answer, answer Espen's question. So I'll tell you, Carly wants a 4Runner. Okay. <laughs> and Dane, Anthony has a forerunner. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> My wife just, you know, uses it and abuses it. But yeah. that's just, hey, it's a mom car, right? Yeah. But they're great for that. They're great for you know, just getting around, having fun. But uh, what would I choose, a Ford Raptor or a forerunner? I'm choosing the Raptor, man. Well, yeah. I think I'd have more fun in the Raptor because I've driven the Toyota drivetrain and the forerunner and the Tacoma. I realize they're a little different, but... It's just Dane's you know, a spirited it's, driver. It's good at what it does, amateur but racing it's boring driver. to me. I would just drive a Raptor. I just want I those Fox just, shocks, I think man. It's cool. Dude, get, just, if you had to choose, I mean, they're two totally different types. Yeah, of people, it's a so. very different animal. Yeah. and then Carly says, "Ha ha, Hans, I wanted to drain it myself." <laughs> yeah, gross. <laughs> oh my god, he's still trying to buy the shirt literally off my back. Dane, always. How much is a price for everything? I mean, these were not cheap, though. We know that these yeah. are these are quite uh, quite nice. Well, Dane, you know, I'm just saying it to go to a it's good a, cause. It's a Dixon Outlaw work shirt, but then you know we put our little you know it's badge and everything Dixon on it. Dixon Workforce. Workforce. Sorry. Okay. So for it's what not it's, the outlaw. For what it's worth, Hans, those are not very flattering on us. Um, no, that's why I don't have we, it buttoned up because if it was, I'd be like, you know, I think it's like the, the most Michelin flattering man. shirt on me. I, no, I think it does not no. look good on me. I don't know what it is. It looks good if you have a trim figure. Hans closes and says, "Oh, nice shirt," and then we have Franco that says, why does Spider-Man always have a Pepsi now? Right. That's, like, that's a real question. Have you ever seen that's Peter question, Parker and been... Levi Gates in the same place? Keyflex, 500 milligram quids every six hours. Something like that. Hmm. Okay. I'm surprised. They should, they should have given you, they should have given you some lemon lewds for that. Yeah, let me see uh, what it says. What? I, took a, <laughs> I took a picture of the pills. Let me see what it is. It's Cephalexin. Cephalexin, okay. That's what they gave me. Okay. So, mm. so probably what David's thinking, Kelflex, Kiflex. Anyway, uh, Kevin, fresh yeah, painted yes. car. What are some wax sealant free products to use on it? I'm thinking PNS Pearl, Stiarna Glossmata, and maybe some Dream Maker. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Either uh, one of those. I don't even know if I'd use Dream Maker. Yeah, I, that's I don't even need to use Dream Maker. Where it's like, it hey. just, honestly, you just need to wash it. Um, Mata's a good all. choice. Mata's a good choice. Um, or Mork. Wash it with either Pearl or Mata, and you could use Stiarna Gloss Mork, yeah. which is just a quick detailer. You also just okay. wipe it down with O&R, too. I that mean, it's too. not going to hurt or it. Or just it's, wash the whole thing with yeah. O&R. I, I went through this whole process, what it was, however many months ago it was, and I was yeah. explaining, like, what the heck am I supposed to be using and, well, what I should be using, and I think I put that in one of the podcasts. But but you just used O&R. But yeah. if it, all he much. did was use Mata, I mean, he could technically just do that and be done, right? I mean, if you want Well, he's to. thinking of a dry nade. Oh, okay. Oh, too. Okay. So that's why I'm saying if you wanted to use Mork, you could because Mork is just quick detailer gotcha. with no any of the other stuff. No protective it. anything. In uh, there. Yeah. All right. So moving on here, we got eight minutes left till break. Uh, <clears throat> let's get out a few more here. <laughs> Brat Venom. Brat Venom. Brat Venom. Venom. It's also the name of Luke Berge's German themed. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Holy smokes, man. On to page four. 
Uh, Hot damn. Alex, as a Boise <laughs> resident of over 150 <clears throat> years, Levi doesn't need numbing. Raw dog needles are the only way to go. Yeah, it yes, just went tell you it. that's how you wake up on a Thursday morning is the Hot is needles. by having a needle shoved up your in your nail. Uh, Neil White, those are mild symptoms. If that is a really is a black widow bite, I've known several people who are in the hospital for weeks from those bites. Well, like I said I'm pretty much immortal. So, yeah. uh, Harry Housewife, oh man, I hope they ain't like antibiotics. I've been on. 500 milligrams four times a day, but I really messed up my tummy, man. So glad to be off them bad to feeling normal. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm sure I'm going to have stomach issues with these, but hmm. it is what it is. Uh, and then, <laughs> Umberto, <laughs> if you were in Australia, there is one of the smallest spiders that can kill you. At hmm. the hotel, we were told not to touch any insects or animals because most of them are poisonous. That's the I, meme about I didn't Australia. Go, Everything is wanting to kill you. I there. didn't go touching bugs. Also, everybody has a huntsman spider story there. Mm-hmm. Ryan saying, uh, Ryan Rigdon, Anthony, talking about his dad a few years ago, that was real. Mm. I don't even remember that. But <laughs> he I'm was, sure. I think they're referring were referring to moments when we're when you're talking about. you telling stories of like growing up in California and going oh, on my these por- runs with my your Portuguese dad. father. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> going on the DJ runs. Like, oh, right. Oh, yeah. My. When you had to make some like road trips to go pick something oh, up or something. Gosh, and then you yeah. get there, but he would never call the people. Right. So then you get, you drive four hours to get there. Yeah. And then Show up for nothing. So you turn around and come back. Get back in the car. We're going home. I'm like, but we just got here. Right. He's like. Nothing for us here. This place is not getting my business ever again. I'm like, yeah, they're closed. (laughs) It's a Sunday. Sunday. (laughs) What do you What do you expect? Yeah, there's a dude. I have so many more. That's the last time I ever tried to buy Chick Fil A. It's hilarious. (laughs) Um, Alex Dewar says, I forgot to mention the hand sanitizer incident in my comments contributions. Nice. Mm, It was good times. (laughs) Yeah. Remember when you almost blinded Maddie her first week here? Oh, my God. Your yeah, hand they sanitizer? Don't, they don't know that story. Oh, they don't no. need that story. Oh, no. Yeah. Harry Housewife, I'll have to <clears throat> dig the conversation uh, out of Anthony Giggin for frogs. It yeah. still tickles me. <laughs> nice. Yeah, just timestamp it with the link and yeah. uh, post it in the comments on that <laughs> Glenn post. Dennis saying 85 here in New York. Dang. Nice. Enjoy it. Alex says, uh, it was sunny and snowy at the same time yesterday afternoon. Felt like I was in Boise. <laughs> nice. Yeah, right? That's right? true, Alex. And then uh, G. Davis says, Tony Mazel is a f- former member of Black Widow, a local <laughs> Boise gangster rap trio. <laughs> uh, and oh, then uh, Young Stacasino <laughs> says, uh, is there a certain way I should clean my clay sponge if I use bead maker as a lubricant? Mm. Uh, just some all-purpose cleaner yeah. and water. Yeah. That's it. Larry Singleton saw some detailers, respected ones, who add an SiO2 spray, such as Defender, to the pad, three drops, when using an all-in-one. Y'all done that? Thoughts? Uh, I never have. Try it out yourself. I've never, I don't know. I don't, I don't, see, the, do I don't see the harm in it. Because uh, you're already adding a protectant when you yeah. use all-in-one, so. I like to think that it stemmed from a... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, think, a little I think, something. I think everything stemmed from the good old Uno Protect and Beadmaker combo. Yeah. Levi, you Famously were just a, invented by... You're, you're a wizard. I can't believe I thought of that. This it's guy and definitely not insane. this guy. Yeah. You created totally. a wipe off that's unlike anything else. Smooth. Blue mind. Easy. Efficient. So slick you can Starsky and Hutch into a different universe. Who, who would have thought? <laughs> well, well let's just make sure credit goes where credit is due. Yeah, exactly. Right here. This, side, job, of the table. this side of the table. Jason M. says... Uh, if you had no claying slash decon supplies and were starting out, what clay towel slash mitt slash sponge slash bar would you buy and what would be your preferred clay lubricant? It's a moderately maintained car, okay. not trashed. So I would pick up like our clay bar, mm-hmm. the ultra clay bar, or I'd pick up the ultra clay scrubber. We're out of scrubber stock. Is we're out of stock. Personal preference. Oh, we're out of stock. We're out of sorry. stock. We're sorry. Anything so, that has a material. Point is, be... those two things are least are lowest priced. Right. Items they are for they, they, clay. It gets the you into the door to get you into the yeah. But but we're talking about if you were just starting out and you had no supplies. Sure. So I would get those right. I would get either just a clay bar, and our clay bar is very well priced and is very good. Um, so I'd pick that up. For my lube, for that, I would just use O and R. Yeah, because I can mix up at 128 to one, clay dilution. which is one ounce per gallon. I can mix up a clay dilution. Yep, and it's amazing. That is a clay lubricant that'll work just fine. And you can lay it on as much as you would like. <clears throat> you can have and, at it. Yeah, and you're barely using it. You're using one cap full of product into a gallon of water. Yeah. And I'd buy a gallon of distilled water, and I just pop the cap off, drop a cap full of. O and R in it, shake it up, and fill my spray bottle with that. Um, well, 
uh, go that way. Well, no. So technically, you just you just that's two fifty six to one. No, it's half ounce per gallon I, is two fifty six to one. I know one ounce per gallon. So okay, two so capfuls, two capfuls. Two sorry, capfuls is sorry. two capfuls yes, is sorry. what it would be. I I yeah, so two capfuls in there, so a full ounce into that gallon. Then you have a one twenty eight to one dilution, and that is the best, cheapest, easiest way because you have a lot of clay lube, and you have. Uh, a bar that can do a good portion of that. And then if you need other decon other decon <laughs> items at a reasonable price, as soon as Anthony stops giggling from seeing the next comment, <laughs> you're going to want to pick up either uh, an APC, oh and in this case, Simple Green, if you're looking for lowest cost, you could get Simple Green and use that is your all-purpose cleaner. Yes. I'd recommend diluting <clears throat> that, maybe four, three to one, uh, as your first layer of chemical degreaser. And then I would pick up an iron remover similar to like Iron Buster from PNS. Yep. Those would be your best, cheapest, easiest way into the doors. And you get most of your chemical decontamination as well as your mechanical, which is your clay. Mm-hmm. So, Very true. G. Davis says All Dane's right. hole centering <laughs> skills were perfected during Squim <laughs> Secondary Academy's Bring a Questionable Step to School today. Uh, all right. Uh, so, Kimberly. Um, greetings, <clears throat> guys. Got my TRC swag yesterday. Did I actually win a door prize from Alex and Jamie last week, or did I get emails? So, spoofed? Kimberly, let me tell you right now, I sent you that email that was really me, and I was following up. So, yes, you did, in fact, win. Alex told me himself, so I know for sure it's you. So we know you're good. I was just checking because you'd won a sticker before, and I wanted to make sure your address was still good. I just wanted to confirm that. So you emailed and confirmed. So I should be able to get John to send the stuff. Mm. So, yeah, congrats. All right. And so last one here from Alex that says, new soundbite. Stick your finger in the hole. I've been doing it for years. Oh, boy. Yep. And there you go. So we are going to step away for just a (laughs) quick break. Sorry, Joey. We'll get you after the break. (laughs) And uh, yeah, we're going to grab a drink and things like that. And we'll be back here in just a few minutes. And then we are going to answer more of your detailing questions and then some. So we'll see you in a few. You can do any of that stuff. Neither <laughs> did I. Wow. <laughs> well, oh. now that you're an actual bartender, yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe whip us up oh, some extra uh, cocktails. Oh yeah. I mean, Dane, do it. I mean, it's my first day, but let me see what I can whip up. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Looking for feedback. Let me know what you think. Oh my god. This stuff smells amazing. Good, good, alright. Well, Levi, Dane, cheers, man. Cheers. Nice. Bottoms cheers. Up. Thanks, Dane. Oh my god. God, why why are you spitting my drink up? I worked hard on that. What is in the is this is that polymers? My mouth is encapsulating. Why would you even know what polymers taste like? It tastes like chemicals. Did you feed oh. us chemicals? What did you put in this? Oh. I made you a nice drink. Oh, it's just supposed oh. to be nice. Oh, guys, that's my car. What? You hit my car. God, guys, if you didn't want the drinks, you could have just given them back to me or something. <sighs> are you seeing that shine over there? Hmm? On the car. Oh, my God. Dane, what'd you put in that stuff? What, in your drinks? Yeah. yeah. Some water and some absolute. Absolute vodka? No. PNS double black absolute rinseless water. Wait a minute. Are you trying to poison us? Dane! Uh, Did you just make us drink rinseless no, water? No, no, no definitely us? didn't do that. Uh, 
Absolute rinseless wash is not for oral or suppository consumption. It looks pretty good. It does, however, leave a hell of a clean and smooth surface on your vehicle. Wow. PNS Absolute Rinseless Wash. Mix responsibly. Is that, is that something? I mean, it's yeah, pretty good. I'm kind good of thing? enjoying it. I'm kind of so. liking this. Yeah. So just don't drink it. No. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's make sure we don't don't drink it for the future. But do Dang. put it on cars. Yeah, it's good. It's for cars. Put it on a car. Okay. Not yeah. inside yet. <laughs>
So, yep. uh, who are literally our friends. And, yes, uh, I think actually our friends. They actually asked if they could come by and take a tour tomorrow. Here, they should. The Rag Company. Absolutely. So, uh, and, uh, oh, I'm going to skip ahead to Alex's comment because it's relevant to that. Hold on two seconds. I'm going to get it up on the screen, and bam, there you go. Ah, Alex says, Home to Sweets was the exact experience as listed in the commercial. <laughs> Breathtaking. Yes. Alex Duar has now spent exactly two full weeks as a Home to Suites guest. Yeah. He has. Truly amazing. He knows the place pretty well. So if you have any questions, refer to mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. Joey uh, Belinsky says, Joey. I've been working on a bunch of Norwegian stuff this week at work. Should have asked Levi for his help. Mm. Should have. He is uh, very experienced. I'm a, a very experienced uh, Norwegian speaker. You are. Mm. Kyle Camus says, hey, boys, got my package the other day with all my goodies. Yeah. JDM sign. Thanks again, TRC team. Nice, nice. Kyle. Kyle. Enjoy, man. <laughs> and then Simon says uh, they definitely have the OptiCoat line, as I bought some of that golden O&R last year from Patrick. Yeah. There you go. Ooh, there you go. Simon Birch, one step yeah. ahead, right? Yes. That's a typical Skin Simon it. Birch thing. It kind of moves. Actually, actually, an untypical Simon well, Birch thing, yeah. considering his backstory. Uh, Kimberly MC says... Did we ever get the answer to can the rinseless community use forced? If so, I have a fresh bottle. How? How? So, Kimberly, very simple. You can use rinseless, uh, or you can use uh, forced as a pre-spray for rinseless. Um, fill your IK sprayer up with O and R. Spray some forced on the lowers or the tires or the wheels O&R. or any of that kind of stuff. You... Spray your forced. So, fill your bottle up with O and R first. Then get a bottle of Force. Pre-spray with Forced. Let that stuff dwell for a little bit. And then get your get your sprayer and spray the O and R on the surface to wash some of that forced off. Mm, yeah. Or just wash with O and R over the top of that force, but you are gonna have to rinse, rinse again. It, rinse it. To, to get Basically the rest of that if you were diluting that force in one way shape or form with more o and r or just able to rinse it in <clears> one <throat> shape i mean like that's 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 how you're going to be able to use it which i use we used to use power clean the same way i was going to say we've demonstrated use, that in previous videos use apcs all the time that yeah. same exact way i never had an issue so it seems that we've gotten a surprise package here from Ooh. our friends over at amazon Ooh. that says to the rag company attention dane hennen uh, I'm guessing this is one of those open It's not going to be that exciting, I promise you. I think I know what this is. It's not really necessarily worth it. Is it from somebody? Up. N- no, Dane, it's let's... not. Watch, he's going to open it and he's going to look and go, what the heck is this It's going to be a light switch for <laughs> the Jag. <laughs> Are you my, struggling to where's open my, where's my the soft bag? Right now. Um, awesome, Dane. It looks it's like gonna you, be... you... This is <laughs> This is for a camera. Yeah. And Jimmy, that is the I most don't know why he Why I need that? <laughs> I need that for Chicago. Dewey Dane. Oh, moving man. on. Oh. Matt McLean. You can hear them laughing. I the know. Room. That's great. <laughs> Matt McLean says oh. Can you use Parla as a drying aid? After it's in t- they're dying laughing. <laughs> it's because you smacked it on the wood door. And it, after it's and it's application for a, initial. For a initial. <laughs> initial. Why did I read that? And it's deal. Because it's spelled E N. It's okay. Matt's trying. Just, you know, so, work with it. Matt, yeah. yes, you can. Simon, how do you like the new Omila, uh, the Omilar <laughs> formula, the O and R formula versus Absolute? It's good. It's I like very it. good. Yeah, they yeah. are. They still have their differences. Honestly, they do. They're completely different. Um, they still have their differences in the right areas. I mean, I might add, uh, but yeah, O and R has definitely just been. It's stepped up several mm-hmm. notches there in terms of the way it feels and performs on the surface. Version so, number five. They think, said it is now. I think people are going to like it, and that will be here at TRC in May, I believe. And so, uh, yeah. yeah. So, in order to know that you have it, you need to make sure it has the version number five little gold yep. label on it yep. to yep. know the difference. Uh, Hugo saying, hey, guys, great show. Agreed, and then he says, Hugo. why is the PPS so expensive? And I think what you mean is the next question you Triple wrote, S. which is, is there a reason yeah. why Triple S is so expensive? Oh. So Triple S, as you guys saw, is uh, the newest product from PNS and, and the Rap Institute and Justin uh, working with Dave to create a uh, essentially a – version of a slip solution for vinyl yep. a lubricant for your squeegee to yep. limit the damage that they're causing to the wrap when the they're marring installing it in the marring and then creating a 
a product that can then be sprayed on the wrap and wiped down uh, and remove all your hand prints and, st- and handprints and streaks and get a nice clean surface, but also add protection. Very specific mission. It's statement. a very unique product, and it's unlike anything else on the market that can do all three of those things. Yeah. And that's why it's so expensive. It is priced very well in the wrap market. Uh, it's priced exactly where those chemicals yeah. are. For the detailing market, but I understand I, what I you mean. That, sure. I know that this is... But it's different. For what it's worth, I also think that this is chemically one of the more expensive chemicals that PNS makes. That, that actually They actually formulate. I believe the ingredients uh, itself I, themselves are, are expensive. And so, it is, and it's, um, it's hard to explain, but that's the I main reason. Dave, is the cost Dave of Phillips the ex- probably can explain it. why it's, it's priced a little higher there, and I think it really just comes down to uh, the raw chemicals that they're using. I was going to point out because I was listening to Bead Maker and Coffee the other day where they had Keith and Dave mm-hmm. and Sydney all talking and they they brought up, you know, this product among other stuff, but just as a general chemistry question, someone in their audience had asked Dave specifically, when you're developing a product, do you try and uh, account for cost first? Or are you looking for the quality first and then trying to build towards the other afterwards? Yeah. And Dave answered because I think a lot of people look at PNS as like, oh, that's that's a little more affordable product. I can get a lot for my money kind of thing. That's not always necessarily the case. Dave explained like he's going for the quality first and the price ends up where it ends up. Mm-hmm. It just so happens that that he's able to find really good, you know, compromises that give you a lot of good quality first, and then the rest of it works out to being favorably priced. But that's not always the case. Sometimes he's dealing with, you know, different compounds and stuff that do cost more. Yeah. So in the case yeah. of this product, it's not just another quick detailer. It's not just Johnson's baby formula. It's its own very specific Yeah, because you got to think, back in the day, so he's essentially taking, the like Justin said in his presentation, three different products – and they had to vet a lot of different stuff to create stuff one product to arrive yeah. at this, but react and act like each one of those three products. Which so, usually a product that's good at one of those things is not good at the yeah. other. Yeah, so that's why Hugo. So it's it's unique. Also, it just is. the scent of that product is amazing. Well, that too. That. <laughs> it was a fully custom scent that yeah. was made. Um, I can't take like. Credit for I really can't take credit for it, but you encourage Jeff, though. I encouraged it honestly, Jeff. Jeff Hennon. That's he was able to. He had this scent in his head that he wanted to see come to life, and he. But he did ask me. He's like, "Do you think this is a good scent?" And I said, "I think this is an amazing scent. I don't know if it can be done." And they were able to make it happen. So it's got this crazy strawberry lemonade scent to it that is just intoxicatingly like good. Like um, yeah. kind of. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's up there with with probably. Bead Maker, it's up there with Dream Maker, uh, probably better than Dream Maker maybe. And then, I don't know. I mean, I, I think it's probably you know on par with Summer Drink. But right? once yeah. again, Summer it's drink. a 100%. it's a unique proposition. <laughs> this is not just a, another version, different smell of the same product that already exists. This is actually oh, something it was that watermelon was watermelon lemonade. It wasn't watermelon only lemonade. It was strawberry. I think it was watermelon, it's watermelon lemonade. lemonade. It's really mm-hmm. cool. So good, the point the scent. point is it's unique mm-hmm. and that price is a result of it not really just being another version of the same thing. It's yeah. something that was um, developed and just, just, specifically for that purpose. Just to make things clear, uh, it can be used on all wrap surfaces. So let's just say you're yeah. not a vinyl wrapper and you just want to spray something on wrap that's genuinely made for that. You can pick up Triple S still yep, and yep. utilize it as a detailer if you want to do that. Yeah, especially for folks that maybe have a wrapped hood or wrapped parts on their car, yep. or maybe yep. you get a van that's all wrapped for the customer and you just want to. It's not going to hurt your paint. Um, wasn't designed for paint, but it's not going to hurt it. Uh, so yeah, give it a shot. Yeah, Glossy Bear Detailing says Levi. Hmm. I'm trying to learn. Whoa, jeez, Dane. That was weird. I'm trying to learn the rotary. Mm-hmm. I have the Rupes. What's your go-to speed setting? On the <clears throat> LH19E, I've been hovering between two to three on a foam pad with H902. Yeah, from you're fine. Chemi. Yeah, hmm. I run a little lower or slower, but two three is not bad. Two three is perfect. I yeah. Think. So I was thinking, I was thinking of a video. Mm-hmm. We tried to do this a couple times in the yeah. past. We brought in green bean. Yeah. We tried to patina polish it. It was really boring. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was really, a very it was boring. Incredibly video. boring. No one wanted to watch it. Yeah, because you're ruining the paint. Yeah, but that's the beauty of it. I want to I want to watch that kind of stuff. Yeah. So my dad's got his blue Chevy mm-hmm. that's single stage. Yeah. Mm. You remember when you polished out that same hood, that 
turquoise blue hood we had that was single yeah. stage. Yeah. Yeah. And what a dramatic change that was. Is that that GMC very hood? Incredible. Same GMC hood. Yeah. It's a GMC pickup. Yeah. Same color, yeah. everything. I was thinking, what if we did just a actual video, like we bring that in, we detail it, and we transform it. Yeah. To get that, because it's such a dramatic before and after, mm-hmm. it's one of those that I think could do pretty good in the sense of like a before and after 50-50 yeah. shot of It'd the car. A good transformation. Show it all the way around, what it looks like, and the gloss that we can achieve on a very flat paint. In game. So, Maybe sweet. But yeah. my guy Kirby says... My uh, Houston OptiCoat dealer had them for sale back in 2019. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sam Taylor says, how do I remove a coating that I forgot to level on trim? Ooh. Mm. I used some Shine Supply Beadlock Pro after beating, after reading that it was safe on their website. Customers sent me a picture of it looking horrific. <sighs> so it's yeah. pretty much on there. Yeah. Yeah. With t- Give it time. To yeah, realize the biggest, you were yeah. <laughs> So time. here's one thing you can do. Pick up a bottle of Optico, of Optimum Hyper uh, Compound or Hyper Polish. Hyper Polish, yeah. Pick up, we have it in stock. Pick up a bottle of Hyper Polish. Safe on trim. Grab uh, any pads that you feel like, any of your pads that you have, throw it on your Rupes or your Flex or whatever machine you have. You can have the customer come back and you can try to buff that surface on that trim to try and level it out. I will say, probably not going to happen. You could, you could try to hand polish it with your finger. I mean, you can take also take a creature or 365, put a little bit of hyper polish on there and just agitate it. And just to see if you can knock it down. Right. Because if you, you could use the machine, hyper polish doesn't stain trim, nor does it change the look dramatically. Meaning like it won't take it from being matte, to high gloss. It'll take it from being matte to maybe more satiny, but it's not going to just ruin the trim. Yeah. So what I'd recommend, do as Levi said, or take a towel with your finger and just lightly agitate it and see if you can knock down some of the shine or some of the noticeable coating on there. And then from there, give it time. It will eventually go away. It yeah. will. But it could be like... It's going to be a while. Three five years. years. Five it could years. be a long time. Yeah. Ryan Ringdon says, hey, guys, uh, quick tip. Uh, use an old OptiSeal bottle for using HyperSeal. The mm. HyperSeal sprayer suck. Uh, or <laughs> it no, so it does not say that at all. It doesn't Hyper say spray, that. sprayers sprays too much product. Um, <laughs> I thought I was saying sucks too much product. Um, <laughs> so... That's a good, yes, good tip, Ryan. That's, yeah, that's, sure. that's, I guess that's true. I, so I guess if you were to use HyperSeal... Use one spray per panel. I mean, I've never had a situation what? where I've needed to... Or I spray to, it on the towel. I spray it and on then the just towel. apply it on the towel, flip sure. the towel, and wipe it off. Because I can see what, you're, what you mean yeah. by saying it, it uses too much product, but it does, honestly, it's, it's not a bead maker style product, right? Bead no. maker, you're soaking a panel. You're spraying a ton on that initial application. Hyper Seal, it's one big spray out of that, tr- out of that trigger, or maybe a couple small sprays if you have an OptiSeal bottle. but It's almost intentional that it sprays that much because they don't want you to do a bunch of sprays. The only thing you don't want, and I've never actually had this happen, would be HyperSeal clogging the sprayer, but I've never had that no. in all of my years of, hmm. of having using that sprayer. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I would say one nice good hit of that trigger right on a panel and then just work it in, one spray on the towel, let's flip it, level it, and call it good. No. Okay. G. Davis <laughs> says... <laughs> As a preemptive strike, Jamie the Cleaner is threatened to, quote, center the whole of every competing Grambassador. <laughs> Yikes. Awesome. I'm sure he would. <laughs> no. Then Hugo saying, does coating a bare aluminum wheel reduce slash prevent <clears throat> further oxidation? So in theory, yes. But like uh, Fred Shamrock says, ceramic coating aluminum does not slow down the oxidation of my sp- experience but it does stay cleaner longer it will find a way to oxidize aluminum is always oxidizing it's always oxidizing any metal is always oxidizing and the one thing that every company's tried to create a metal coating those metal coatings can still have a tendency to oxidize i just think it's because and the so air air finds its way yeah. to the metal and 
and there's no, I mean, out the other than coating the aluminum in actual clear coat, there's no way to completely trap that, yeah. that mm-hmm. aluminum. Now, diamond body, uh, diamond wheels, Yeah. because of its high heat, they told us you could put it on stainless steel, mm-hmm. so you could do exhaust, you could do intakes, you could do yeah. all that and, stuff, and even the aluminum that. intakes. You could coat those metals. Yeah. And the and lifespan so, of that again And you could is... coat aluminum wheels. But the reality is those products are only going to last. They are only recommended for about a year. Right. Okay. That's what I wanted. Because of the fact that especially on metal, when it's on bare metal, it does what it can and it will slow the process, but it can't stop the process. Because it's still, to some degree, it's still permeable or it still breathes a little bit. Kind of the surface is always changing underneath. Okay. So, Um, Ethan. (laughs) There we go. Says, does Defender play well with Diamond Body 36? I have not used we Defender on Diamond Body 36 yet. Um, In theory, I'd though. probably use it on my wife's car when I when I do give it the shot. That's the hard part, right? When it comes to testing products and using products, there's so many combinations, right? It's like, <laughs> is somebody like, does Defender play well with gloss coat? Oh, I don't know yet, right? Does yeah. Defender play well with CSL? Oh, I don't know yet. We'll still figure that out, right? Yeah. Does Defender play well on its own? Absolutely, I can tell you that much. But uh, in terms of topping it with all the other toppers, yeah. on and the show coatings, we sprayed it on top of Legend. It was fine. Yeah, and it in was, fairness, was, you're yeah. you're asking in the right place. We do mess with all these products. Yeah. It's just we haven't that played with the Defender enough. Hasn't yeah. been done yet. Fred, um, the McDonald's headquarters is in the city near Fulton Market, which is the mecca of restaurants. Oh, oh man. Yeah. And then How far away David is that? Boyce says Oak Brook, Illinois, is actually the headquarters of McDonald's. Oh. Okay. And then Joey says, one of my buddies has a family member who worked for Wendy's and would bring home bags of frozen spicy nuggets. Oh, that oh, actually, man. Joey, that's my, that's my idea of a good time. those spicy nuggets. Those spicy they nuggets are, are amazing. They've jam. taken them away and they've given them back to us right, on several A couple occasions. times, yeah. So, so good. Hugo Dave says, Thomas how do you remove dried solution finish on paint? Uh, uh, usually just alcohol. Alcohol. Wipes right off. Yeah, do like uh, a 70% uh, half and half mix with distilled water. IPA, come right yeah, off. but we're just fine. Alex says, Anthony better pack some turns and scout all the Tons. bathrooms around the area for the international McDonald's experience. Ooh. I think so. Pack some tums. I think, I think I might, you know. I'm always on the scout for a good bathroom. Well, well you've got that... your portable pooping solution. Yeah. Oh, dear. Just Remember carry that, that time with you? we went it to McDonald's let me carry in carry the portable toilet seat. The McDonald's in Scotland. Yeah, you remember yeah. that? Yeah, we went to that McDonald's in yeah. Scotland. I remember. We went through the, the drive thru and. Oh. There were some weird choices on that. Was menu. that Scotland? That yeah, Scotland. we were in Glasgow. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we went through the drive thru. We didn't stop in and eat. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. what it was, yeah. Fred saying, uh, yep, the headquarters moved a few years ago. Miller, hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, was an awesome last week of events. It was all amazing. Any word when you'll be getting those new IK trigger sprayer heads? <laughs> I'm going to be all over those for the larger bottles. Stay tuned, Miller. Yeah, we yeah. we don't have an ETA yet. I know that that's the toughest part about IK yeah. is, is we love them to death, but they usually give us these teases way far in advance, which we love to see, but then we're chomping at the bit for and those and products until they get released. And waiting. But um, I think that they will be available, hopefully. Sooner than later, Sooner yep. than later. is the hope. Neil White. Says go to Rock and Roll McDonald's in Chicago, Anthony. I, I'm down to go wherever. It's, a comments, it's more a matter of like how much time we have. Right. Um, I have a family member in Chicago, and my mom's like, "You have to go see. You have to go see him. <laughs> you know, he would love to see you." And I'm like, "Okay." You can come got, to the open house. I or got something that on my list. And then yeah. people are like, "Oh, go to go to Rock and Roll McDonald's." Okay, got that on my list. And then people said to go to the Weather Tech HQ, right? Yeah, people were mentioning. Go that. to that. Okay, that's on my list too. I'm sure there's a lot of places in Chicago that I would absolutely love, especially with me loving food as much as I do. Sure. So we'll and see what happens. Yeah. G go. Davis. Anthony has already purchased a low mileage 1992 Honda Civic hatchback <laughs> off of the Chicago Craigslist to do a drive-by <laughs> at the McDonald's HQ two-pack nuggets. Two-pack nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And then Kirby Thompson says Chicago oh. is HQ for many companies. Think of Chervon Sher- as in Ego and Flex. Chris Metcalf knows the rest. Oh. There you go. Think of Chevron as in Chevron. What? Chervon, the company that makes Ego and Flex. Oh, I thought this <laughs> They're said They're based Chevron. in Chicago. Okay. And then uh, Darren type. going, man, Grand Ambassador Royale, this has just piqued my interest. Darren, yep. Actually, yep. technically, Darren would yep. be in. That's he's right. He's eligible. Invite. He's eligible. You won the heart, but you Joey Belinsky says, Jamie, the cleaner, open. that new pressure washer solution package setup is a beautiful thing, my friend. Mm. 
Now I need to go to the next page. Which one is We are it? an hour behind. Whoa, hold on. No, we are not that far behind. Yeah, we yeah, are. That was 52 minutes. Oh, yeah, so we are from three to page behind. four. So we got three pages to go. Casper saying the Battle Royale includes unfrosted pure Pop-Tart eating contest. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And then Ricky Colon. A game of skill. Going, whoa, 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 whoa. Battle Roy what? Yes, it's yeah. true. And then Hugo saying, did you ever think about adding Sonax to the TRC portfolio? Really great, safe, and high-performing products. Hugo, we, uh, we're we friends with the Sonax team, and we've uh, nice we've talked with those guys, but uh, it's not on our list. No, so not, not at the moment. Mountain Town saying, mid-battle, there will be a twist. Anthony will announce he's bringing back two past winners. Oh, that would be, that would be, That'd be amazing. That would be hilarious. <laughs> like I throw them into the ring. Yeah, that right? would be great. <laughs> Just, that would be ju- kind yeah. of unfair. Justin's, yeah. Justin's got that backwards fighting oh, in yeah. him right mm-hmm. now that he's living in Georgia. He's ready for. That's him and Zaya. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Zaya's like, what? I'm What's like, hey, Zaya, can you, can you put out that cigar there yeah. right there? And he goes, well, can I continue to smoke? <laughs> ah, sure, I guess. <laughs> Alex says the, the Grand Ambassador winner receives. A bottle of true Canadian maple syrup, and we'll have to deli- I will have to deliver to TRC. Hand deliver. Hand thought. deliver. There he Hand says. Hand deliver. Nice. Man. And then uh, Darren says, Alex, could you feed it to me in Dane's massage chair? And then Alex <laughs> Just says, clean up after yourself. Justin, Brad, and I will moderate that group <laughs> chat for the GB battle. I bet it's going to be a nightmare. I think I will have them have in, have there have in there just for fun. That's yeah. going to be wild. Uh, Joey, all of these sound nicer than a Cleveland steamer. And probably. <laughs> and then, uh, my uh, Kirby Thompson says, "FYI, if buying in the EU, make sure that it is proper voltage. Okay. Avoid U.S. models." What was that in reference? I to don't the steamer, know. maybe probably the steamer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Kirby. Yeah, and then G Davis. I hope any Grand Ambassador Award includes the often mentioned but never delivered live stabbing of Hans <laughs> close <to> my hockey. <laughs> uh, oh, it's horrible. Uh, oh. Followed by a happy Friday, kids. <laughs> by the one who shall <laughs> remain <laughs> nameless. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, boy. Jeffsy. <laughs> Jeff like, says, looks oh, like sorry. the pod steamer retails for three sixty nine ninety five here well, in the U.S. Okay. That's not bad. Penny. Yeah. Well, that sounds, yeah. That's not cheap, but that sounds a lot better yeah. than 500 bucks, yeah. which you were mm-hmm. saying earlier. So. Then Ricky says, I got my McCullough steamer while drunk shopping on Amazon. Mm. All of a sudden, this big McCullough box showed up at the house, and my wife greeted the mailman. Uh, so that's what you brought. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's how and it works, then Jason man. says, watching a video from some guy named All Day Anthony. No. And he mentioned cars don't have rust issues here in Boise. I see it snows an average of 18 inches a year. Do they not use salt or magnesium chloride on the roads there? They do use mag so chloride. Use they mag use, chloride. So what's funny is I've actually... But we don't I, actually I, have a rust I've problem. I've watched this very closely. No. They do use mag chloride, but it's never enough... It, it's usually in a way that Smaller it doesn't stick on the road for very long no. because you also have to think about it. Our snow melts the snow usually doesn't stick around for in, very long. in a day to a couple in days. The afternoon, yeah. The longest we might have snow for is maybe a week we'll have snow actually stick on the ground before it melts away. So I've kind of concluded that that's, that's what the deal is, is that it doesn't stick around for long enough or it washes away or we get a rain break in between mm-hmm. to where it kind of prevents that from happening because, dude, I see cars that are from here all the time, you know, delivered here, bought here from the dealership in Boise, and I look under them that have never left here, they're spotless. Yeah, we don't have it. We don't, because we're a high desert, Jason. It's very dry. It's the other thing to remember. We have no humidity. No humidity at all whatsoever. So, I mean, I've very rarely ever seen any rust. Instead of salt or meg chloride, in some cases, well, actually, in a lot of cases, they'll just use sand. You should see the underside of my Dodge Ram 1500 with a 5.2 Now, that's something that would have rusted. If if anything's going to rust, it's that truck. And and there is nothing on the bottom of that thing. It's spotless. Every car I've ever gotten here in Idaho that spent its whole life in Idaho was good. That Montero clearly had a life that was from somewhere, somewhere else. else. <laughs> Pedro, <laughs> something. Pedro Carrillo says, hey guys, I was one of the, I was a winner. I received one of the three TRC Marupa skins. Ooh, nice, nice, Pedro. Congrats, Pedro, that's man. Awesome, man. I hope, that's awesome. I, I hope you're getting it. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, I think uh, uh, John had that stuff organized. No, they but. were, no, they were handing those. That was one of three was handed out to any random Oh, customer that bought a buff oh, product. Oh, cool. okay. So it was Sweet. already put in that. I was like, no, if there's right. something somebody he received set aside, it. Good. Perfect. I wanted to make sure yeah. that's right. Hey, so the last the way you so made that we face, are, I was going, we're structured um, here because we sometimes no, when somebody I handled says that something, okay. I handled that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then Carly sure saying, "Wow, Anthony, I don't, I don't know <laughs> what I said." Fifteen minutes ago. 
I don't know. You said something horribly offensive back then. <laughs> I was around the time we were talking about steamers. Oh no! And okay. uh, G Davis says, "Move in my tent, aka Secret Handshake Club." <laughs> nice. Oh, maybe your story, the tent story of you and oh right, and yeah. you and Steve That's in right. the car. Steve in the back, yeah. yeah. Then Alex saying, for the visually impaired, this too sweaty man tent story is fascinating. <laughs> and then Dane's face when Anthony is saying, me and an old man in a car and it got steamy. You can use that for a video moments collage. <laughs> nice. yeah, and go. then uh, Joey, when will you guys have the new PNS stuff up on the site? Hopefully in a couple weeks, Joey. Yeah, it should be arriving. Uh, we should have it. For too long. Um, oh, I went back. Uh, so we're on three, we're two. On two. All right. Jay Salinas says, happy Friday Eve. My products get here tomorrow. Can't wait to finally try out some Stiarna Gloss yeah. and Koshemi products. Thank Good you, choices. Jay. Nice. That's rad. And then Ethan. Can you use Optimum Ultra Ceramic Seal as a clay lube like Car Wax for Ultra Clay Wash? So I don't think you can. Based on my experience using it for the first time, I don't. I think it, the product's too thick. I, mm. And I don't think it has that amount of... And it flashes fast. It flashes fast. I don't think it's going to be possible. So use it as a standalone personally. product. Don't try and integrate it yeah. into a... I, but I've only used it literally. I, that was the first time I ever used it. <clears throat> I have no idea. So we'll see. But it was a nice product to use based Very on your, nice. your Very reaction nice. as you were I using really, it. I really liked it. G. Davis says, not familiar uh, with Idaho law, but I'm reasonably sure it's illegal having a sweaty man <laughs> and his dog restrained <laughs> in your back seat. <laughs> Somebody uh, wrote that. Yep. Yeah. And then Glossy Bear, my local detail supply store, Samco USA, just started carrying the rag company. Hey. So nice. pumped there in Reno, Nevada. That's nice. awesome. I'm glad Samco is uh, not too it. far away either. It's probably then. the yeah. best place in Reno. Yep. There out you of go. the whole nice. city. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the I have Meridian Marmot there. saying no spiders in this Marmot's diet. Mm. I'm looking forward to some fresh flowery bush around that new backyard shed, though. Oh, oh, nice. Stay away. I need to still put the <laughs> lattice up before you can get in there. <laughs> so that's the other thing I was going to tell you. As a person who's owned a few sheds mm -hmm. yeah. and built a shed, yeah. a yeah. playhouse, yeah. Uh, wasps yeah. are going to be the biggest enemy. Looks nice. nice. The other one is I once had a family of raccoons living under one of my sheds. Wow. Which I wouldn't be opposed to. The problem was my dogs would just keep sniffing. Uh, I think raccoons are relatively cute. They um, are very cute. I just, they are trash pandas. And yeah. so you just got to, you, you know, be weary of them. But, uh, or leery of them or be whatever you want to call them. You could be weary or leery. You could be weary or leery. So we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, I guess just as a quick update, I'll probably talk more about it on the main show next week. Yeah. But my shed is yeah. officially built. Yes. Very nice. It is. It's absolutely beautiful. It's nice enough to live in. Mm. I, I offered it to any one of these guys here. I said, oh, Dane, oh, if you're looking for a, a weekend bed and breakfast, we can get my away. shed, right? We can get away. Levi, you and Carly want to go out for a nice Very night nice. out, right? You want it somewhere where it's nice and quiet away from the kids, right? Mm-hmm. My In backyard. beautiful I Meridian, I Idaho. My that. backyard shed. And you know what I'm thinking about doing? Hmm. I'm thinking about putting a solar light in there for you guys. Oh, right? nice. So it's we'll gonna have ha lights. It's going to have an exterior so panel, fun. right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be motion activated, right? I like that. So if you guys are moving, that place is going to be lit up like a candle. Okay, that'll be interesting. Wow. And there's windows in there. Yeah. So Good. Okay. you guys get the sunrise. No blinds. <laughs> Just <windows>. No blinds. <laughs> moving on here, we got Glossy Bear detailing that says... What a great idea of the Dixon workforce with the company branding. I'll have and to do that go. for my next round of shirts. Absolutely, it's a good man. Shirt. Then Ron saying, hello, hello, hello. Mm -hmm. Running a little late today. How's everyone doing? What's up, Wonderful. Ron? How are you? Thanks for joining, Ron. Raphael saying, would it be better to use a specific dilution of APC to clean clay material? Or is there a recommended ready-to-use APC to use? No, just whatever you're using. Spray it on. Scrub it with your hand. Rinse it off. Or use Dawn dishwashing detergent or whatever else you want to do. Uh, Flak Pyro says, I noticed that some synthetic clays are more aggressive and mar the paint more than traditional clay. How does the new ultra clay scrubber They're rank in aggressiveness? Ratings. So, Flak Pyro, you're not wrong, mm. but our ultra clay is quite possibly some of the softest, mild, most mild, least aggressive uh, clay on the market, but punches above its weight class, meaning that even though it is a very fine grade clay, it can get a can good get of it, yeah. portion of almost everything off the vehicle. You may almost not even need to bust out a clay bar or go up to a more aggressive step. Now, yeah. that being said, if you're not using enough lubricant, if you're pressing too hard, if you're not just letting the clay do the work for you, yeah. you can mar the surface. But the key is just letting it glide on the surface with a proper clay lube or a proper dilution to 
to clean the surface. And we've done a yeah. number of videos yeah. with like Ivan and folks where, yeah, he's all about letting the clay do the work. Don't sit there forcing it in, like you said. Yeah. Oh, uh, we have Wes. Hey, Wes, Wes. Got my Starna order from last week. No keychain. Oh, sorry to oh, hear that, buddy. Oh, man. What was the deal with the keychains? Like first was... 50. Right. 50. First 50 so orders of Starna gloves. Do we know gloss. if he was in the first 50? We have no idea. Order. So, uh, so Wes I would assume the not. The requirement. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Because if they ran out, they ran out because they had 50. Yeah. Well, and it was first right. 50 people to buy a buy a Stjarna Gloss product. I know. So and people were. And very they were it's possible that people bought Stjarna without realizing that was going yep. on, and it got included in their order. Yep, that too. Because so. it happened, it started that day. So, yeah. uh, Grand F, Yurt, PS Gang, what's up, man? <laughs> hey. And then G Davis, I'd like to see a series <clears> where <throat> Anthony and a sweaty man visit the Portugal coast and spend a week putting bougie yacht videos on Instagram. Go to the Azores. I would know. do it. I would do it. And then Gron, uh, can we get an off-road razor <laughs> on a wash Wednesday? Um, we got a dirt bike video. Yeah. With Jake. I, well, it's funny. A lot of fun. We've, had we've a, done we've, a couple of them. We've had a couple dirty razors. And they, I guess we just never made a wash Wednesday on it. We didn't. We did a solution no. finish video. Now, with Juan one. and I made a video on like not being clean enough. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah. We could grab one. You never know. We yeah, it's get pretty one easy spring. for us to get access yeah. to them, I will say. Yeah. And then uh, Casper saying, I did not expect to hear some hot hole talk on this podcast. You, you never, never know, know what you're going to get. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. And then the one who shall me remain nameless says, it seems there is not much talk about the PNS off-road line. Getting to see and hear more about that would be great. So there you go. Um, yeah. yeah. No, I, I think for the most part, the off-road line, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a seasonal line, it yeah. feels like, for a lot of people. It's because, also a niche. Um, you know, while there's a lot of people that do enjoy off-roading, most of it's done in the spring, summer, and fall. And we just got out of winter here. There isn't too many people that were out taking their rigs around, nor is there too many people that are going to be washing them, right? A lot of people are going, okay, mm-hmm. hey, I used it. I'll clean it up this spring, right? And they'll no. call it good. Or they might they just take it down and rinse <clears> it off <throat> before they really get into detailing. So, I will say, though, the cockpit cleaner. Oh, yeah. I know. It's your favorite. It's the best. Oh, I know. I love the favorite. smell of it. I know. It's your favorite. And so uh, and that scent is now actually available. <laughs> but they decided that, yeah. the essence of cockpit really wasn't the name to give it. So they called it something else. What did they call it? I don't know. <laughs> I like essence of <laughs> I think it's I think it's eucalyptus mint. <laughs> it's yeah. Eucalyptus mint is what they call it. Essence of cockpit definitely would have been an attention yeah. Yeah. Tony totally saying on. we all owe Morgan for Uno bead maker. Yeah, she, that's right. It was actually it was, it was Morgan. God she was the one that developed her that. Heart. <clears throat> yep. Go watch that video if you haven't and seen then, it. And uh, then Dane posted that uh, the dirt bike wash is available. And then yep. Joey Belinsky says this home to sweets commercial is my favorite of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you like uh, it. Uh, and then oh, Stefan yeah. saying uh, elephant in the room. Anyone up for a head-to-head test of absolute in 2023 O and R? Wink. Hey, you never know, man. Wouldn't be a bad head to head. Hasn't happened yet. Honestly, I'd love to but see. I'd love to see other people's takes on it, which yeah. I'm sure people will make YouTube videos on it. But definitely, I like seeing it through your guys' eyes well, I'll let because let it breathe. A yeah. lot of times, people just think we're out here just chilling product, and I'd like to say, hey. Yeah, you go and because if it comes it. from us, people are just inherently going to go. Even if we're not, and we're being really fair, they're going to be like, "Oh, you're biased." It's like you got to remember because we sell both of them. Well, well no, because <laughs> no, what they're going to say they're going to say, "Well, the rag company <clears throat> owns PNS and Optima," we don't. and we're going to say, "No, we don't." Like, <laughs> Neither of those. That's things not is true. true. No. It is true. Why would else would you guys be making videos on this? Maybe because but it's we not, though. <laughs> distribute them, and it's so funny, dude. They they people jump to the craziest conclusions. The yeah. reason people think that is because SEO, search engine optimization. When we started this. Channel. The first videos we had were oftentimes Optimum focused because at the time, th- Optimum was the No only Rinse brand. was the only product we carried in our store because we had one employee who loved using O and R, and all our future chemical you know purchases stemmed from that one decision yeah. to carry O and R at first as a gateway drug for people to kind of try this out, and then it became the Optimum line, and then eventually it became other chemical mm-hmm. lines. It's but true. that's why we seem to come up every time there's an Optimum yeah. conversation. G Davis. I should have apologized in advance. Today is the first day in many weeks where I didn't require someone to type for me. Surprisingly, though, I had run out of volunteers. <laughs> you can only get them to type so many things yeah. before they go, this is gonna, the best use of my time. It's, it's just he's sitting there with his elbow, right? And you know, all right, he's telling his wife, okay, now type this. And she's like, I think this is kind of inappropriate. This is kind of rude. And he goes, type it. Like, send type it. it. Type it. Kim. Send it send to the it. chat. <laughs> Alex says, uh, home to sweets, 
Was that exper- exact experience of listening to the commercial breathtaking? Breathtaking. Then Kirby Thompson saying, an Avery Dennison class and home to suites are great reasons to visit Boise Absolute and TRCHQ. True. That is correct. True. And then Fazal says, uh, I stayed at home to suites the last time I visited the U.S. Staff was friendly and the place was clean. Would go back. It's a great Very place. Nice. Great to hear, Fazal. Thank you. <laughs> And then uh, the one who shall remain nameless. I live in Massachusetts where we use salt and magnesium chloride in the winter. I use Mud Buster in a, in a Foam Pro 12 for the undercarriage. Any thoughts on other or better products to use? No, that's actually a really great that's product probably for Because the, the rust inhibitors, that's yeah. actually literally yeah. the best product to use. Yeah. You got G, it right. G. Davis says, in the Empire Strikes Back video, <laughs> Dane will get his hand cut <laughs> off and finds out he's related to Darth Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> we're brothers. <laughs> I could see that I happening. Too. No. We are looking for new tier SEMA <laughs> themes. Here clung around and it. here's the deal: I'm down for Star Wars, man. Oh, if we man. want to pull Star Wars, we can do that. Oh, oh, we're boy. still looking for theme ideas. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, Terrible. And then, uh, the it. one saying, "How come?" We hardly talk about or hear about cleaning the undercarriage. Mm. It's just as important as cleaning the rest of the vehicle, even if we don't see it. Uh, we haven't made a lot of videos on that kind of stuff, uh, mostly because it's just not something we do. But well, we it's, have it's talked. Here, just, it's just it's hard to film. It's I mean, really it's hard to film. That too. The lighting is never great it's unless you get a car in a lift. But, but it is oh. on our list. Yes. Yeah. We have been wanting to do that. And now that we have our outdoor wash bay, Hopefully, when the weather and gets a little we'll warmer, a couple, we can uh, do we'll, some stuff. We'll have some tools yeah. coming yeah. here eventually that I think will help with stuff like <clears throat> exactly. that. Exactly. I was just going to say there, there's a little bit of a built-in bias, too, is around here. It's not as common as someplace in the, like the East Coast of the Midwest where you absolutely have to need to always do that. It's just not front of mind so much over here. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to other states where it is absolutely a necessity. Yeah. So yeah. it's just kind of like a regional based thing too. Yeah. But I, I mean, know, it's still well, something. I know, but we are a, we are a worldwide company, so yes. we do have to start thinking about you know the salty side of Think things. Think bigger. Yeah, the salty side. There you go. <laughs> uh, Calder's Auto Detail or Cater's Auto Detailing says, uh, "What's up, Levi guys? Coming to you from Parump." Parump. What's hey, up, man? I know Parump. Thanks for watching. You know, we appreciate Pahrump? it. Yeah, Liz's mom lives there. Nice. Isn't where is isn't Parump kind of like McDermott? It's like an hour or two outside of Vegas. Okay, pretty nice. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's, we you know, know caters auto let, detailing caters though for yeah. all your detailing but needs in Pahrump. I, all I'm saying is like based <laughs> on your opinions go? of Reno, I don't think it's gonna get <laughs> all better. All right, Jason. <laughs> Oh, Jason, Jason M saying, could I use solution finish to darken up my WeatherTech floor liners or I'm asking for trouble with transfer on shoes, et cetera? No, not, a, not unless you wipe it all off. That's yeah. the goal. You want to want to wipe it off with a dry towel uh, to get that off. But <clears throat> yeah, you, people have been using it for years, mm-hmm. um, either the Fusion Gray or the Black. Um, the other product that Anthony and I have been testing is Ulex, which is a kind of a rubber softener, but also a dressing. That's not – uh, what are you talking about? Uh, not Ulex. Uh, Gumi Jeez, Fix. Sorry. Gumi Fix. Oh, my not God. Not Ulex. Whew, people Gumi are going to start literally just yeah, destroying their to get Don't put Very Ulex, but it, it penetrates and um, Gumi Fix. Gumi Fix will and it penetrate penetrates and restore And it restores it and keeps it dry yeah. feeling. So it's, it's, not, not, it's not slippery. <clears throat> Uh, Darren says, great to see you guys on the screen again, uh, but got to run. Little ones. Yeah. Little ones awake. And s- she's, she's a little poorly. A- I you want me to read that? See this. Great <laughs> to see you guys on the screen again. Got to run. Little ones awake. And she's a little poorly. We'll catch up with the rest of the podcast soon. Much love, guys. Everyone, smash that like button and share. Thank you, Darren. That's what Appreciate I said. If you haven't done yeah. it, please do so. Now. And Alex saying, I smelled blue bead maker at Sydney's shop for the first time. Solid 9.9 on a 10 for the scent. Oh, thank you, Alex. That is Saw that in the video. Yeah. He, on Jamie's channel, they did a little walk around a garage. Did they? They found it and they got very excited. Oh, wow. And then Kevin saying, good afternoon, guys. Would you attack the clear coat of a car that is burned? Hmm. Like what happens to red cars? Could you elaborate on the steps clean decon polish? And I don't know where you are, Dane. He's got a second question. Oh, um, let's see. It's one of two. Assume it's at the top. Yeah, that's one, two. Okay, so I need to go to page one then. Yeah. There we go. Maybe. Uh, Are they the same steps as clear coat with scratches, two-step polishers, or something special? So I'm assuming what you're talking about is a single-stage polish. Uh, So is it similar to clear-coated cars? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. It's messier because you're pulling paint, color. you're pulling color, uh, but the process is exactly the same. 
So yeah, you can use a compound, you can cut, and then you can polish it and go over and refine it if you want to. Uh, the key is to refine till it smooths itself out and doesn't remove color as you're continually going. You want to get the oxidation off as much as possible, um, where on clear coat, you don't notice that as much. So, yep. okay. Cause it's clear. Hence your pads are kind of cleaner. They're just kind of dirty. First thing you ever explained to me about paint correction was that, and it all just, yeah, you came to my shop oh, and I showed you Yeah, cause I had to do his red Miata, red Miata, single stage uh, paint. Joey, I picked up a, the H902 last week, but I don't own a rotary. Realistically, will the results be more acceptable at the DA? My M302 will finish it out nicely? Yes. So yeah, H902 results. was developed because H901 was mostly built for the rotary, and they made the new recipe to be able to be used on uh, other polishers. So yeah. force more, rotation more, more effective and dual DA. action and be more effective and be able to break down and cycle those cutting agents uh, yeah. in those types of tool movements. So. Yeah. Um, and then Raphael, aside from polishing, is there any, is there a recommended way or combination of a few things to remove waxes or sealants? Um, washes. Washes. Um, uh, is aside from polishing, is there a way to recommend yeah. a way or combination of Certain a few types things? of washes. So high alkaline or high yeah. acid uh, uh, or APCs, low acid. Um, yeah. Some APCs can break through certain coatings or sealants just, I mean, just by spraying them on there. Uh, yeah, there's a, quite a few different ways. Um, it just depends on, yeah, it depends on what the coating is, how, 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 what's the, what's the, um, lifespan, lifespan of that. How coating. is the coating installed? Yeah. There's a lot of things that play into that. Uh, Jamie, the cleater says defender plays extremely well with nano diamonds. Jamie and, has had some good experience with defender. So I would trust okay. him on that. And he's has, yeah. di- he's DB 36 on mm-hmm. some vehicles. So yeah. Uh, G Davis, Levi. Now, oh, no. now when you call direct to the Alex Duar Boise Hotel Suite, you get a recording about <laughs> human trafficking and a 15% off coupon oh, no. for the local Asian glute massage joint. Oh, Lord. It's a pretty good deal. <laughs> pretty good deal. Joey Belinsky oh. says, uh, finger blast that iPad, Dane. And then oh, uh, Ricardo These saying, all problematic. what's up, TRC crew? I washed my Diamond Body 36 coated car for the first time. I went to use my Diamond Quick Body, and it was white at the bottom of my bottle. Is it still good to use? Yes. You just shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. But Keep yes, shaking it. It's, as, good to, it's still good to use. As our Swifties. Um, Jason M., if I'm making a window cleaner of one-to-one distilled water with IPA, is there a preferred IPA concentration? Dude, I think that even that's probably too much alcohol, in my mm. opinion, one-to-one. Yeah, I would, too. I mean, because I, I, I can paint prep vehicles, you know, remove waxes and sealants with that. So it'll be a very good window cleaner, but it's going to remove... It might get overspray onto other. Oh, areas it might damage the, your tint. The, the, yeah, well, dry stuff. Yeah, I out. definitely wouldn't be using it at that concentration on the inside. I would go like maybe five s- to one. Four I to would one. go like seventy percent IPA, then distilled water, um, cut about you know four to one, three to one, uh, but I wouldn't go one to one. Hmm. But I mean, honestly, dude, glass like good glass cleaners are so cheap. It's and honestly worth yeah. just buying a recommended glass cleaner or glass that cleaner concentrate. That you know will work instead that of you know playing around with. Not saying that you can't do this yeah. to save some money, but mm-hmm. I'm just saying that if there's overspray or you get it on your trim or things like that too often, you might start drying things out a little bit too much. Mm-hmm. And it also helps spray onto your applicator towels first rather than the surface yeah. you're yeah. working on. And then Ricardo will be saying, if I shake it up, yep. And then uh, G. Davis says, Anthony's shed will also be a short-time home of the three illegitimate children <laughs> fathered by Luke Berge <laughs> during TRC in 2022. It's just crazy that he oh. had triplets in that no, time. Nuts. It was just one night. Nuts. Joey Belinsky, can I stay in the shed for next year's TRC? <laughs> Is there a bathroom? So, Joey, I will Not have yet. the uh, <laughs> portable the, toilet. The, yeah, the up. portable toilet set up in there. Um, there is two gable vents, right, Very to nice. create crosswind and mm-hmm. airflow. There is also a window with a screen on it, right? Ooh. So just open that up. And there's a window in the tent, too. Yep. Do what you got to do and yeah. just let it air out, right? Yeah. I'm, I am going to be putting some wood sealer there on the floor, right, just in case a spill happens. Yeah. Very thoughtful. Very, very nice. Uh, and the just use a, take those bags and put them in the trash? <laughs> yeah, pretty them? much. Okay. <laughs> just make sure you tie them up. Uh, Han says, during one of my trips to the USA, I asked my friend to throw away my bottle when I knew there was a trash panda in it. He got a nice shock. Oh, no. In the trash <laughs> he can. He goes in there and <laughs> <whoop>. <laughs> Then, G, pressing too hard, not using enough 
Lube are also level four warnings on Dane's <laughs> massage chair. Uh, you got to start at one or two. Yeah. Don't skip to four. Just because yeah. you think it's going to be bad Franco, doesn't damn, mean you're going to have a good time. It could be a bad time. Here. What's up, everybody? What's up, Franco? Joey, Anthony, I'm interested in a CR spotless at home. I know it depends on my water <clears> hardness, <throat> but roughly how many washes have you gone through before replacing your filter media? Countless. Ooh. I made it a year and a half before I had to replace There you anything. go. That's not too bad. So a whole year and a half, and I didn't have to replace my filters, which is pretty impressive. Um, what, I don't what? know. And by, when I replaced them, I had gone up to about – I was just a little over 100 parts per million. That was going to be my question. And so yeah. our normal water hardness here Depends on the is area. 250. Sometimes it gets up to 300, depending on the area. Um, some areas can even be even, even higher than that. Uh, but six. I would say that – even after a year and a half, at the very end, the last few washes I had where it had significantly jumped up. Because once it reaches that point of like, there's a there's like a ledge there that happens where it's like, okay, soft, 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 getting softer, 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 then it drops off, yeah. right? And then it's okay, now that's not as soft anymore. It's not as, uh, it's got more impurities in it. And uh, yeah, so a year and a half, I don't know. I don't even know how many washes that is. Yeah. 60 Pretty washes, good. 70 yeah. washes, yeah. something like that. Oh, G. No. Davis says, Dane was customer oh, of the no. month at the Essence of Cockpit, <laughs> Boise's only all-dude hot yoga club. <laughs> then Demo, theme idea, TRC Ma 2024 naked and afraid. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That could be In pretty the woods, How many, how right many next companies door do you think would show up for that? Yeah. Probably not anybody. <laughs> Probably not many. All right. Next one's uh, <laughs> uh, Joey says, I've been to a wedding in Pahrumpf, a small world. And then Paul <laughs> Allen, is. smiling. Hey, Paul. Oh, Paul and, saying, and Spencer saying, hey, guys, can Hi, I, uh, can Casey Axe's re- re- reactive rust remover on a panel and safely use an ultra clay mitt to clay the car? Will RRR provide enough lubrication? Mm. I probably wouldn't. That's just me. Yeah. I probably wouldn't use that product for that. Just because I don't know chemically. I don't know enough about it. That's I me. Would, I also wouldn't. Wouldn't be my first choice. Also... Uh, would RRR be similar at all to some of the tar remover type products, or is it specifically no. just in the case of rust remover? It's just rust remover. Because okay. I know you can't use iron, tar stuff with clay surface rust. because it has a really adverse effect if you do that. Yeah, but no, yeah. In the case of I'm RRR, sure you could. I, I just don't know what kind of lubrication there is with it, and I also don't know how long you got until it dries. Yeah. But, Dane, let's go ahead and see Paul Allen's card. Yeah. Paul says, uh, hey, guys, I, have you coated the underbody of a car with a wax grease to prevent rust? I'm getting a one-year-old 330D, and I want to prevent rust. I am living in the Alps, so salty roads. Thank you. So um, KCX makes an underbody coating uh, that you can pick up and put under the car that is kind of like that. It's like a wax grease, and I think it's an aerosol um, available in the Europe. covered in honey? Pretty much. You could hmm. cover it in honey. Yeah. <laughs> I think but, that's uh, what they do, right? It's like a honey. It's called a honey coat, right? It's pretty much like that it, name. But, yeah, it's forever. a wax oh. grease. It's yeah. kind of like a consistency of honey. Um, that they spray on the underside of the vehicle, and it's a couple spray cans, and you just hit it all Go up, and town. it keeps it looking nice. Rob says, do you guys have a dressing recommendation for that crinkle black mm. motor finish found on Harleys and other motorcycles? Oh. Um, I'd clean it with O&R, for one, get it, make sure it's clean. And then, Anthony, do you put a dressing on those? Because it's a motor no, cover. It depends. Are you talking about the wrinkle, or it's, it's a wrinkle black, crinkle black, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, <sighs> Because I believe it's a powder coat. Yeah. I don't, it's not, I don't think that he's talking about the plastic. I think he's talking about the, pla- the powder coat. Yeah, it's a metal powder coat. I wouldn't. You're not really dressing it. You're just cleaning it. I just wouldn't because you're going to put a yeah, dressing really... on it. And depending on the heat, right, some dressings can actually, like, set up and, like, um, not stain necessarily. Like burn in. But have some kind of burn in, right? Yeah, exactly. To where if there's silicone in it or whatever it is, it's going to change the way that that looks. Um, and with through heat cycles and washes and putting more product on it and doing it, I don't think it's going to look as good as if you were to maybe just spray a quick detailer or a just clean it or a bead maker, just clean it. I mean, something like that, I think would hold up a little bit better. Uh, Larry Singleton says 15% IPA is all you <clears throat> need for glass cleaner. All right. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's, I guess that's the point of, di- you know, if you're diluting it like four to one, three to one, if you go with 70%, but yeah, it. You don't need, I don't know. I think glass cleaner is so cheap. I've been telling you right now, we sell a lot of great glass cleaners that are very affordable. Um, All I think of our glass TrueView is some of the best. extremely it's affordable. Why we carry them. Um, yeah. It's why you do that. Glass is amazing. Yeah. The 
Coach <clears throat> Kemi glass cleaner is amazing. True View is great. Uh, G Technics glass cleaner is amazing. Yeah. Like they're all great O&R. glass cleaners. O and R, yes, amazing. Because you're already so using it for other things. So, <laughs> G Davis asks, "Will you be live in Chicago?" Um, we don't know. I'm bringing a gimbal for the phone oh. and the microphone, so I'm going to find a I way think to Dane's, make sure Anthony does I think does Dane's going to do a docu series on me while <clears> we're there live. I'll so find a way. We'll be walking the streets of Chicago. Might be live on Instagram. Might be live on YouTube. We'll just have to see yeah. Yeah. how we'll that see. goes. Joey says, "What happens if I use Opti Glass Clean and Protect on the inside and the interior?" Not that I would. Does it say mm. not? So you're not supposed yeah, you're to. Not supposed it's to. not designed yeah. for it. I don't think anything's really <clears> going <throat> to happen, but it just wouldn't do it. So I think I have to look at the bottle. I believe it says not on the interior. It says not to because it adds yeah. the, uh, the protection, hydrophobic. the hydrophobic yeah, protection right. to the outside. Um, you don't necessarily want that on the yeah. inside. Okay. Um, here we go. G. Davis says the undersprays. Uh, the under the underspray is also a speed dating <laughs> icebreaker endorsed by Hans Closen. Oh, Agreed, man. G. <laughs> it's almost time to say goodbye. So have a calm weekend, crew and fans. And then we Thank have G. You. Davis we'll that do. says, "Dig the Stearna Gloss Glass." It is cleaner. pretty much nice. one of my favorites. It's a very good glass cleaner. So Ooh, nice way to uh, round boys, it out, boys, gals. I I think we've, I think we've done it. We've yeah. done this thing successfully. Made it to the end of yet another who would have thought Q and A who would have Thursday. Who thought? Oh, and yes, one last one. I'll put Joey's up on the screen as the final comment there here. You go. Thank you guys for all of your answers. Have a good weekend, my dudes. Agree, Joey. Also, our fellow dude. Um, yeah, so that's really it, guys. If you haven't hit like on this video yet, please do so before you leave. Helps us out, helps you out, because uh, as long as we get more questions, you may not know what to ask, but someone else maybe has the yeah. right question that you didn't even think to ask, and then it gets answered here, and everybody's all the better for it. So thank you so much for everybody who spends your time here. If you're after the fact, come check one out live sometime. Otherwise, just have yourself a great weekend. There you go. That's that's really the mission here. So we'll see you next week over on the TRC podcast. But in the meantime, take care. We'll see you later. Bye. See you.